here. And yeah, well, guess what? My one has pink carpet too. Feel sorry for me. I ride horses. So I ride boots. And I also play soccer. Kimberly, Isabel, it's time to go. I'm Oscar Woods, and this is my house. My, my room. Just finished packing to go. Dad, Mum. Um, this is a pizza oven which we made in prep. Arthur. He's very cute. I just think they're going to have a great time and it'll be fantastic for them to meet other kids from around Australia that they don't know. Got my bag. Hi, Dad. See you, Jim. Hey, Woody. Hi. This is Dad. Newly built pizza oven. Just like after I had one. Hey mom, this is my mom. I hard work in the kitchen. I'm always in the kitchen. Hi there. This is my room. Right now it isn't very tidy, but it might be later. I'm Oscar, Oscar King's dad. dad. <laughs> I'm Oscar King's embarrassment. I would see. Good luck, mate. Bye. Bye. last night for the first time in a welcome dinner and I sent a camera along to find out how they were feeling and whether they had any idea what to expect. Let's take a look. Are you a crocodile? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Do you have three horses? She has her own though. She rides them. Well, they seem to be getting on okay. When I met the other campers, I just thought, you know, I'd love to be with these guys and I can't wait until we get yeah, there. They're like really nice guys. Yeah. The other campers, they're really cool and funny. They know what they're doing. They're crazy. Oh. The other campers are pretty crazy. They're fun. But they're our enemies. Cause Not they're really. Our yeah, they gotta say. She's a competitive camp. person. Yeah. Uh, they all seem really nice. We're still gonna beat them. The way we get to people's hearts is through their bellies. So we brought lots of chocolate and lollies. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And if we don't get through to them, we'll make them sick anyway. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can't wait. Ooh. I think we're going to like some place really cool, some place secret. Lots of slime. That's slimy hollow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to the slime. Slime mania. You know, I, I might as well like just drench myself now where you store it. I feel without my parents that I can do whatever I want. I'm totally fine with leaving my parents. That's done it excellent. Before. It's an opportunity for for seven days. Se seven days. It's golden. Yeah. And my definitely. mom's watching this right now. Hi, mom. Yeah, I want to meet this new host, Maud. Yeah, Maud. Can't yeah, wait Maud. to meet her. I can't wait either because these guys are in for the ride of their lives. Okay, let's take a look at what's in store for our campers during their time here at Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. And what's different about the show this time? There's still two challenges per day for the teams to try and win major badges. Game Orange and this time the Captain's Challenge. All the challenges are based on events in Slimy Hollow's unfortunate history in areas known as Venom Valley, Snake Gully, the Flooded Cave and the Haunted Huts, just to name a few. I'll still be handing out smaller badges for acts of sportsmanship, great teamwork, 
like being funny, all sorts of things. But at Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, there'll be no more dodge attempt for the poorest effort. Instead, after each captain's challenge, one team must face the Dunny of Destiny. Back when Sergeant Edward Slimy was granted this land, he built a grand homestead called Destiny. Now this is all that remains of it, the Dunny of Destiny. And its festive bowl contains some surprises for the teams. The Dunny of Destiny is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But if I had a box of chocolates that smelled this bad, I wouldn't be too happy. Here they come. The campers have arrived at Slimy Hollow. They're home for the next six days and nights. And their first task is easy. Find me. Hey, guys. Hello. Welcome to Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. I'm Maud, and I'll be your camp leader. Let's meet you guys. Who have we got here? I'm Dutchy. And I'm Jez. Du Dutchy? Yeah, well, my name's Torsten, but just call me Dutchy, because I'm from Holland. Well, what's your team name? Dancing, Dancing Dodos. Dodos. How did you come up with the dancing dodo? Well, we're both dancers. Yeah? And dodos are crazy. Yes. Yeah, so we're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. You gonna show me something? Yeah. Hey, break it down. <laughs> nice. They can red walk as well. Yeah. That's crazy. Next guy. I'm Oscar. Yep. And I'm Oscar. So you're both Oscar? Yeah. Yes. But we have nicknames. Okay, what are your nicknames? I'm Woodsy. And I'm Gino. Right. And your team name is? The Thunder Monkeys. Monkeys. I like that name. Good name. And next we have? Kimberly, but you can call me Kim. Okay. And I'm Isabel, also known as Issei. Right. And your team name is? The Salted, Salted Peanuts. Peanuts. Why? Because we're totally nutty and I like salt. Kimberly, I've heard a little bit of something. You've got a pretty ticklish neck eye here. Yeah. How's that go? Pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't even have to touch her neck. She has a fit. You're gonna have to be careful here because there's lots of creepy crawlies around, and I can almost guarantee that when you're sleeping, they're gonna crawl up your neck. And you guys are Carly, yeah, and Katie. And your team name? The, the Crazy Carlies. Ah, oh, more craziness. Oh, this is gonna be such a good camp. Now, where are you guys from? Queensland, Cali. North Queensland. Like, yeah. yeah. I've heard it has the highest rainfall in Australia. Australia. All right, guys, so out of all of you, there will be the new ultimate new campers. Who's it going to be? Us. 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 OK, well, we have two challenges each day that will determine that out, OK? Now, it doesn't matter if you're the biggest or the fastest or the meanest or the leanest because every challenge has a twist. And here at Camp Orange, we're all about having fun, friendship, having a good sense of humour, <laughs> and getting really messy. Yeah. 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 You guys are ready for all that? Yeah. yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. No, really, I can't hear you. I think I've got a bug in my ear. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, let's get this started. We'll just head down that path towards base camp, and I'll be with you shortly. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Maud's really, really nice. Yeah. 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 I really Maud's like really Maud. Nice. Yeah. Should I have told them about the Dunny of Destiny? Should I have warned them about the snakes and the spiders? Should I have mentioned the ghosts? Nah, all in good time. Now let's have a look to see what's in store for these campers over the next few days. Wait, we're on camera! 
I think the first challenge is going to be putting up their tent. Yeah, someone do a tent. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Find the two accommodation. Yeah. 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 Something like there might be a twist. A cook -off. A twist. Yeah. I, now that we're here, I'm feeling pumped. Pumped. Yeah. Fully pumped. Fully pumped. I hope like there's a dodgy tent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want a dodgy, dodgy tent. tent. I think the first challenge will be something to do with accommodation or tents. Accommodation. I think it'll be a cook off. The first challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you had a genie in your house. Your every wish was his command. Just rub the lamp, make a wish, and your chores are done. The best genie in the world. Yeah. Except your dad says... No wishes. Wish away. What could possibly go wrong? I'm a munchkin. What? Catch Genie in the House, Mondays in Savo at 5 on Nickelodeon. To home phones. Remember that? Free calls to home phones. The new video journal lets you capture, create, and customize and works with your PC. It comes with a seriously cool camera and software that takes pictures and videos so you can customize and design your pages. Video journal works with your PC and Windows XP, batteries not included. Introducing the world's biggest kid movie star, it's Ricky Sprocket. Being the world's number one movie star is the greatest, but making friends isn't always that easy. Don't miss Ricky Sprocket, a brand new Nicktoon. You're back with the Camp Orange Campout. Previously on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. We chose four teams of best friends to be our campers. Salted Peanuts from Sutherland, New South Wales. I'm sorry that I'm athletically challenged and that I'm on curve and that I don't like when people touch my neck, but that's not my fault. I was born that way. The Thunder Monkeys from inner city Melbourne. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Classic Seven. The Dancing Dodos from Sydney's Northern Beaches. Dance with us, dance with us, go! And the crazy Cardies from Tully in far north Queensland. <laughs> the campers got together for the first time and made their way to Slimy Hollow. Hey guys, welcome to Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. Today, the waiting is over and the adventure begins now that the teams have arrived at base camp. Oh, oh my god! They hear legends of Slimy Hollow. Oh, what a part of such a place, that was small. <laughs> themselves into their first challenge. Where's the sun? And fight bushfires the slimy way. Give it more. Slimy. Yes. First taste of real Nickelodeon slime. This is Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, day one. What's in store for them? Hey guys, welcome to Slimy Hollow, your home for the next six days and nights. As you can see with the name and the weather, it's slimy by name, slimy by nature. Over there you'll see your base camp, which is where you'll be sleeping. First, I'm going to tell you about Slimy Hollow's weird and wonderful history. In 1811, Sergeant Edward Slimy first discovered this land by accident when he was looking for his lost cattle. Governor Macquarie granted him a thousand acres of land and Edward called this place Slimy Hollow. And in your time here, 
You'll be facing challenges and solving mysteries that are all based around the legend of Slimy Hollow. There'll be two challenges each day, the Captain's Challenge and Game Orange, or Go. And the winners will be awarded with badges and that will all add up to determine who will become the ultimate Nick Campers. Now, are you ready for your very first Captain's Challenge? Yeah! All right, then let's go! <laughs> Welcome guys to Base Camp Brouhaha. <laughs> now I'm guessing you guys have been at home and you've been practicing pitching tents, right? I actually heard you guys had got lessons yeah. with your tents. Have you guys all been practicing this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, sucked in. Because these tents are already pitched for you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the challenge for you today is to work out which of these tents is your team tent. But how are you going to do that? Scattered in these tents are five camping items for you to collect. Now you must bring back those items here, where you will work out what your team colour is. By doing that, you will know which of these boxes to open. In that box will be your final clue to which of these tents is yours. The first team with all items in the correct tent will be the first Captain's Challenge winners. And before we start this challenge, I'm going to show you the fate that awaits one team today. Behold, the Dunning of Destiny. Edward Slimy actually originally built his homestead, which he called Destiny, right here in this very spot. But the only thing that remains is the outdoor dunny. So, after each captain's challenge, someone will have to venture into there, pull out instructions from the festy toilet bowl and read them out. That team that will be doing that today will be the team that finishes this challenge last. So, are you guys ready to do the first captain's challenge? Yeah! yeah! Sweet! Well, let's get going on my ring of the bell. Our strategy for the challenge, we're going to take the two closest tents to each other and we have like, sort of like got a little plan worked out. So we've got two tents each for us to have a search through, just get all our stuff out of them. We try to think logically. We're pretty logical people, I think, sometimes. So, I um, think our biggest rivals will be salt and peanuts. Yeah. They're, they're very, very smart. smart. Okay, on my bell. Three, two, one. Each camper has to find five name tagged items a map, a torch, a billy, a sleeping bag, and a backpack. They're all desperate to win this and take that all important first step towards becoming the ultimate Nick Campers. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. It is going crazy. It's a real test of teamwork. I think the Sultan Peanuts have a code system at the moment. Oh! One, two, four. On the tags are the numbers to open the locks. But first, the teams have to work out which box to open. Yes! The Thunder Monkeys are trying the green box, but is green their team colour? If only they'd look in the backpacks. We have to find the colours. At last, the peanuts are looking for their team colour. Colours. It's pink, pink. But they're in her pink boxes. The boys are still at the wrong box. Wake up! Yellow! The peanuts have made a breakthrough. Okay, the salted peanuts are pretty close to finding out what they are. Inside that box is a compass and directions to their tent. Got it! Got it! Alright! The salted peanuts are in! The clue says north and they're heading for a tent. You guys got all your items in there? Yeah, compass keeps on changing. You gotta tell me if this is oh, wrong. Right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh. Whoops, wrong tent. I saw that was north. Oh, 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 o
Guys, we gotta work out which guy's not. Point north to north. Did you work to Castle before, guys? Yeah, wait, yeah. yeah. The caddies, monkeys, and dodos are all neck and neck. Okay. Come on! Come on! The peanuts are desperate, and this time they are in. <laughs> yeah! Yes! We have one person in their correct ten. We still need a last play. Where's the sun? The crazy cardies look like they're in. So who's going to be last? Guys, that is not the correct ten. That's our ten! That's our ten! Nice deduction, Dodos. The race is on to avoid the dunning. Where's your other backpack? Where's your other backpack? The Cardies don't have all their stuff. They could be last. Yes, yes. You got first place. You got second place. Guys, all your other the Cardies are second now. It's just between the boys. We don't have a torch though. You guys got it all? Yeah, sir. Show me your items. Who's leaving the bag? Come on, Cardies, give us the torch. Here, go, go, go. Unfortunately, you did not have all ten items in the correct tent. Your torch was in a different tent. That means, unfortunately for you guys, you were the last team to complete this challenge. Which means you're the first team that's going to visit the Dunny of Destiny. Yes! Woo! Woohoo, guys! We won. We won our first challenge. Yeah, that's a good omen. Hopefully, we came second. That's pretty good. Still good. I think the salty peanuts are very intelligent, team. Yeah. And they're going to think about the challenge a lot. Yeah, it's silent, but deadly. First you think logically, then you do whatever you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. And if worse comes to worse, injure someone. Yeah. So, Dancing Dodos, you will be the first team to experience the Dunny of Destiny. How do you feel? Um, pumped and nervous. Yeah, pumped and nervous. So you've got to go into the Dunny of Destiny, reach into the festy toilet bowl and pull out your fate and then read it aloud. And guys, can you shut the lid when you're done? Because it really stinks in there, hey? Yeah, I can yeah. smell it from here. You guys ready? Woo! Let's do this. Okay. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Good luck, guys. You're gonna need it. Ooh. Oh! 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 The original words to the Slimy Hollow National Anthem has been lost. So it's up to you guys to make new ones. Now it's got to be to the chorus of Waltzing Matilda. You're going to perform this after breakfast tomorrow. Do you think you'll be able to do it? Yep. Yep. Great. Now you, you know Waltzing Matilda? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gives a go, gives a go. Waltzing Matilda, Waltzing Matilda. This is going to be a cinch for you guys. Great. What a feeling we had to sing. Yeah, I thought I might be singing. That's my worst talent, singing. Coming up, some slimy firefighting leads to controversy in Snake Gully. If everybody bended the rules, it's fine. But if, like, you know, you guys didn't, then neither did you, so then it's unfair. The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. Six new surfers. You're one of the new Soul Blue crew, aren't you? Yep, that's right. One giant house. I like to share a bedroom with two of the ugliest guys around. And nothing to do except surf and wreak havoc. It's fantastic. Time to have fun. It's a brand new series of Blue Water High on Nickelodeon. Excellent. And the new crew are ready to cause some waves. This wouldn't be where you're rushing off to by any chance, would it? I don't know what you think of that. Drop in on the new series of Blue Water High, Wednesday at 5 in Sabo on Nickelodeon. I sit up all night watching, waiting. Everything has to run like clockwork around here. You know, this fuel has powered me for hundreds of launches, but unlike Houston, we've never had a problem. I go around and round and round. They drive me up the wall, but I am lucky. I've got the right stuff under the bonnet. Okay, start your engines. Zero ignition. Ready to race, bro? Oh, yeah. Ever ready, always ready. 
Adoring fans. He has the perfect family. Well, I guess you can't have it all. Ricky Sprocket, coming soon here on Nickelodeon. You're back with the Camp Orange Camp Out. Now it's time for Game Orange, the second challenge for your first day at Slimy Hollow. There's a go badge up for grabs, and that will count towards who will become the ultimate Nick Camper. And in grand tradition of Game Orange, not only is it going to be wet, but it's going to be messy. Go to it! <laughs> so here we are at Snake Gully. Summertime here is dangerous for a number of reasons. Definitely the snakes, but also the spot fires that can quickly grow into huge bush fires. We're lucky today because clearly there aren't too many snakes and we're not going to see too many fires as well. But that doesn't mean you don't be prepared for anything. Right? Right. right? right. Back in the day, to save water, the Slimy Hollow Fire Brigade used to put out the smaller fires with wet hessian sacks and tackle the bigger ones using slime, which pretty much seems to be everywhere around here. So team member one must start at this end of the structure, climb over it and back down, then put on the fireman's helmet and climb into the hessian sack. There, you must pick up the slime-filled billy can and pour it into your sack. Oh. Now, once you've done that, you need to start hopping and pop every second balloon with the spike that's on the top of the helmet. Now, when you get to the end, you need to blow a whistle. That means the second team member climb into a new sack and pop the remaining balloons there. Now, the first team that pops all balloons and blows both whistles will be the first Game Orange winners. Yes. Looks scary, slippery, wet and messy. Our strategy is that we get this little guy to go first because the first balloons are like saggy. They're like tiny. So he can jump so them. I can and jump. he's fast. Jumping high. Do it quickly. Yeah. And just yeah. climb up that wall as fast as you can. I'm a bit um, worried about the structure thing and climbing off it and falling off because I'm really uncoordinated. All right, are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Three. Two, one! Game Orange is underway in wet and slippery conditions. Go, 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 go. Katie is first down, but now they all have to jump in a sack, put on helmets and slime themselves. Hurry up, get up. What is it? Jess is off to a slow start. But he's worked it out. Spikes pointing straight up. Chest is the one who needs to be put out. He's on fire. Katie should check out Chest for tips. He's finished his balloons and he's miles in front. At the halfway stage, the donor is looking good for the first Game Orange badge. I feel I'm doing. While Katie is still looking up, Torsten wants to get going before the others catch up. Oh, having problems with the helmet. The teams are calling for backup. Now it's the real race. Torsten's struggling with the first balloon. He's losing his lead. We get lost in the first balloon. Slow it up, guys. Give it in, boys. Find me. Torsten's having problems with the sack. How do you get the helmet on? Some of the shorter members having problems with the height. Abraska's got the trick. Is anyone's game here? Torsten's not even in his sack. His helmet's off completely. You 
can't use your hands. Come on, Yoshi! One more to go! Come, Come on. on! He's picked up his sound. Oh, He's supposed to be in it. Dawson's blown the whistle, but has he also blown the race? Come on, Kali! The Thunder Monkeys are second, which just leaves the girls. Yeah! Kali's showing how it's done. Third place, with this morning's winners, the salted peanuts, last. That was kind of fun. Oh, oozing out of my pants. I like the green. Oh, luckily they're dressed for mess. <laughs> okay, so dancing dodos, you were in first. You blew that whistle and you had a clear lead. But there were rules that were discussed prior to this challenge, and we need to know if. Some of the things that were happening in this challenge are a little bit acceptable or just not at all. Can anyone confess to beating the rules a little bit? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, what happened, mate? Yeah, well, I didn't use the sack, um, like, halfway through my race. Yeah? I just... Now, do you guys think that the fact that he didn't use his sack impacted the end result? Just because yeah. of the game? Yeah, or yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's a lot easier to jump without a sack. Now, do you feel that this also became an advantage, the fact that yeah, you didn't have your sack? Yeah, kind of, not too much. Not too much? I think, like, if everybody bended the rules, it's fine. But if, like, you know, you guys win and neither did you, so then it's unfair because they didn't have the advantage. You guys think that the cheating was a little bit too much and that they shouldn't win? Is it a unanimous vote? Maybe not the first. Maybe not this batch. Yeah. Maybe not, but another batch for, you know, clearly being out yeah. front. Yeah. 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 We can do that as well. This means, though, that the second place is the winner of Game Orange. So the Thunder yeah. Monkeys will get this one. Yeah? Yeah. Great. So you guys have got your first Game Orange badge of the whole camp. We'll be awarding the badges tonight. And I'll see you all there. It's pretty disappointing that um, we didn't win it. Yeah. We cheated a little bit, but... Cheating isn't really ever good. Yeah. Well, it kind of sets a whole new playing field now, so if anyone's caught doing cheating now, it would be yeah, that disqualification. Can... Yeah. I have to admit that my sack, well, it was down, like, where my feet was, so... Yeah, and it, yeah, but yeah, but yeah. they had this like fully off and just ran back and chucked it over their shoulder. You have to listen really, really, really closely to the rules because you can just like lose a badge if you don't listen to the rules. So well done on your first day at Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. How are you all feeling? Great. Yeah, That's fine. what I'm talking about. So we had two challenges today, and right now I'm going to award the badges for the Captain's Challenge and the Go Challenge. Now these badges are worth one point each. I'll also be awarding random badges and hollow hero badges, and they're worth half a point. They'll be for things like good sportsmanship, great teamwork, making me laugh, whatever I think. The first Captain's Challenge was Base Camp Bruhaha. Now it was the first challenge and it was raining and it was really difficult. But what I noticed was that Salted Peanuts were out to a really quick start. You guys blitzed it. Now, how did you do that? Was that strategy that you were using or what was the technique? We had a good strategy and we just communicated really well. So for that, you're getting the first Captain's Challenge badge. Congratulations. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> peanuts. Whoever came last in that challenge had to visit the Dunny of Destiny, and that was the Dodos. Yeah. We're looking forward to the Dunny of Destiny, which will be tomorrow. Are you guys happy about that? Yeah. You got it all sorted? Yep. Fantastic. Now, the second challenge that we had was the game Orange. This one was even in wetter conditions, and it was really messy. The Dodos did get in front first, but unfortunately, there was a bit of bending of rules. And as a team decision, you all decided that the second place should be the winners. And that was the Thunder Monkeys. Guys, Woo! you're the winners of the first game orange badge. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Fantastic. I'll pop it up on the board. It was also a team decision to award the Dodos as sort of a runner-up prize. So guys, I'm going to give you the first Holo Hero badge. Congratulations. Woo! Now, crazy cardies, don't be too discouraged. You've got a lot of energy, just don't hold back. We've got the whole week ahead of you. So, guys, you need to have a really good night's sleep because tomorrow is a huge day. We're going to do the Camp Orange Slimy Hollow sign-off. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Dodos! Cardies! Peanuts! Monkeys! 
Today's just like flown past and it's been really, really great. And we all get along really, really well. I can't believe her. I'm actually Camp Orange. My favourite team is probably probably the Thunder Monkeys because we got to know them better. I think the girls' teams are pretty cool. They're crazy cardies. Are um, nice. Crazy cardies because they seem pretty reserved sometimes. They're a little quiet, but then they just relax in it. They're all they're really cool. Our biggest competition that would be. The salted peanuts. They're, we thought like, oh yeah, they'd be easy. Oh, they're really hard. I still think it's the tall people, um, the boys, the, the thunder monkeys. Yeah. I think our biggest competition will probably be the dancing dodos. The dancing dodos. Because they might be a little bit quiet and small, but they're pretty tough stuff. In the second challenge, well, we kind of cheated, but... We won, but kind of by default, because the other team was accused of not really cheating, but, like, yeah, OK, cheating. I'm not mad at Torsten or anything. I told him, don't worry about it, you know. Danny of Destiny, my aim in Camp Orange is not to go near it. I'm sure that I'll have to reach into that at one stage. I'm pretty confident about doing the national anthem. Yeah, I think they'll like it. Pretty funny, actually, I think. Three, two, one! Next time on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. <laughs> it's a downhill battle at the Slimy Falls Rapids of Doom. The first turn's like deadly. That is so scary. I got really scared. These guys are going well. The teams defy gravity in the ultimate aerial ball game. Oh, oh. my chest. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. And crushes are revealed in a nighttime truth or dare. Oh. It's gonna get serious. Our biggest um, competition. Oh, they're all I pretty think, good. I, but think I think our the biggest, boys. The boys. I think our biggest competition probably be the boys or maybe um probably everybody, because like it's just <laughs> you don't know yet. But that what, what is it? The dancing donors, they're, they're pretty yeah, good. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, I mean, I mean, they're, they're a winner. Yeah, yeah they've got Oh, the yeah. audience no They're pretty good-looking, too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a girlfriend, ladies, for free. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't handle brick. I read whole school. Stick around. The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. Week on Salvo. In our new show, El Tigre, will Manny ditch Frida for bad girl supervillain Black Cuervo? In a new cap of Mikey, will Mikey realise that the Empress is actually Mitsuki? And in Jeannie Nabini, what surprise do I have in store for Taylor? That's, That's this week, week on Salvo. Life's too short to live little, so live big instead with the feature-packed Tamagotchi version 4. What will your Tamagotchi grow up to be? Don't settle for little. Live big for less. Big W. I sit up all night watching, waiting. Everything has to run my clockwork around here. You know, this fuel has powered me for hundreds of launches, but unlike Houston, we've never had a problem. I go around and round and round. They drive me up the wall. But I am lucky. I've got the right stuff under the bonnet. Okay, start your engine. Ignition. Ready, race from? Oh, yeah. Ever ready. Always ready. How you doing? Introducing concert masters of classic comedy, Drake and Josh. This half quartet, known as a duet, never miss a beat. The brothers display devastating dissonance, yet manage to morph into motifs of madness. The brothers clumsily crash into their crescendo, leaving you with a performance that will resonate long after viewing concludes. Drake and Josh, weeknights at 7 on Nickelodeon. Orange Camp Out. Previously on Camp Orange. Our four teams arrived. Salted Peanuts. Yeah! Thunder Monkeys. I hope to get very dirty. Crazy Cardies. No oh, power rules. And the Dancing Dodos. Oh, yeah. Our search for the ultimate.
Richmond Inc. camp has began, with the Salted Peanuts taking the first captain's challenge. <laughs> the Thunder Monkeys won the first game orange, but only after some controversy. Yeah, cheated a little bit. Cheating isn't really ever good. And the Dodos were the first team to draw a task from the Dunny of Destiny. Oh, national national anthem. Today, they must perform a slimy hollow national anthem. And if it's good enough, they'll get a random badge. There are more badges up for grabs at Termite Towers and the Torrent of Terror at Slimy Falls. That is so scary. I got really scared, you know. There's a shock in store for the peanuts. And when the sun goes down, the truth comes out. That was so secret, it didn't even tell me. I mean, what? <laughs> this is Camp Warring Slimy Hollow, day two. has arrived for Torsten and Chester. So, Dancing Dodos, are you ready to do the fulfilment of the Dunny of Destiny? Yeah. Well, up you come and show everyone. On a slimy day in the outback of Australia, there was a tall explorer named Maud. Now do you know what she saw in the outback of Australia? I will tell you what she saw. Dancing dodos and slimy dodos All doing the moonwalk on an orange dance floor And do you know what she called that place after what she saw? The slimy hollow <laughs> Great work guys, that was fantastic So guys, now it's up to you to determine whether it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down If it's a majority thumbs up, they will be getting a random badge Ready? One, two, three. Good, there we go. So you will be getting your random badge at tonight's gathering. Thunder Monkey said they'd vote for it because um he got given some Satana Brown for breakfast today. So yeah, it's one in. Right. Now was it just me or did anyone else hear some pretty strange noises last night? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised because Slimy Hollow has had some pretty strange things happen in its time here. Oh, the stories that I could tell you about Edward Slimy and his really unlucky family. Stories that would make your hair curl. Woodsy, you must have heard a couple of them already. <laughs> Each day you guys will be facing two challenges. The Captain's Challenge and Game Orange, or GO. And the winners will be awarded with badges that will count towards who will become the ultimate Nick Campers. Yeah. Yeah. So who's ready to get stuck into the Captain's Challenge? Yeah. Let's go! By the end of this Captain's Challenge, we'll be one step closer to knowing who are the wow. ultimate Nick Campers. Oh. Welcome guys to Termite Towers. You've been here for a whole day and a whole night now, so we thought it was time for a bit of team bonding. Now in this challenge, the teams are going to be paired up. But to make it interesting, it's going to be boys versus girls. Yeah! That means the Thunder Monkeys and Dancing Dodos, you'll be against Salted Peanuts and the Crazy Cardies. This challenge is based on the legend here at Slimy Hollow. On this very spot, Edward Slimy's nephew Percy bounced on his bed to slam dunk a ball on top of the wardrobe. But tragically, the bed fell through the whole house because the floors were riddled with, you guessed it, termites. Here's another challenge dedicated to this poor boy. In this challenge, the teams must get coloured balls from the barrel at the bottom to the barrel at the top. Two feeders on the ground supply balls to the thrower bouncing on the trampoline, who throws the ball to the catcher, who is at the top holding a net. The feeder throwing the ball to the catcher will be blindfolded. Now, after five minutes, the team who's collected the most balls will be the captain's challenge winners. And both teams will get a badge. Yes. But I've got to mention one thing. The thrower on the losing side will have to go to the Dunny of Destiny with their best friend. Trampoline. 
Me and Bree two faders. I'll go up there. Okay. Yeah, but communicate. Yeah, the person on the yeah. trampoline will call out one, two, one when they're in the head, two when they're on the bottom. What are you saying to tell them to throw? Yeah. I say throw it. Yeah. When? No, 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 just throw it on two because I'll be in the air. Throw it on one. Okay. Three, two, one. There's nothing like a boys versus girls challenge to bring out that old competitive streak. Go. Go. I don't think you have one yet. There are badges for the winners here, but don't forget, I'm also watching out for reasons to award random badges. Go. Anyone's game? Go. Go. The buckets look even at this stage. Go. 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 The boys have got a really good routine. Kim's having to do a lot of running around, picking up loose ones. Come on, guys, don't feel the pressure. You're doing really well. You had a strong start. Great catching, Katie. Great catching. Katie's doing her best, but Izzy's throwing is all over the place. The Thunder Monkeys are basketballers, and it really shows. The boys, I don't think, have missed one yet. Guys, the boys are catching everything, so the pressure's really on. Go. That's it, girl. Oh, nearly. Oh. Go. No, no, that's it. Nicely made up, girls. Go. Nicely made up. Go. 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 Kim is just running left, right, and centre. Go. 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 Come on, you got about six. Go. Go. The time pressure is getting to the girls. Go. 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 Pleased with themselves, but are there any loose balls around? The clock is still ticking. And we've got it. All boys have fish balls. Yes. You've still got ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, that was slam dunk at Termite Towers. Boys versus girls. Let's see how you went. Clear winner here. Definitely the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Great effort there. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Girls, yeah, now that was some out. exceptional yeah. catching by you, Katie. There was amazing catches in there. The throws were all over. It was amazing. I was like, whoa. But being on that trampoline, it means that the salted peanuts will be the next to venture into the dunny of destiny. How do you feel about that? Yeah. So, boys, feeling pretty happy? Dance with us, dance with us, go, girls! Dance with us, dance with us, go, girls! I reckon the guys beat us because they probably have better reflexes. Yeah. And they play basketball, so good catching. We did the best job in the world. You're always going to have, like, bad days. I think now the boys will be a little more competitive with the girls, especially at night. Gonna do something to them. Right, boys? Don't tell them that. Losing doesn't really bother me. Yeah. Because it's only, like, the second day. These guys might get attacked by us as well, so it's all good. Ooh. No. You're the ones that should be worried. You really like <laughs> sticking up for me. Each day after the captain's challenge, one team must face their fate in the Dunny of Destiny. Right, you guys know the drill with the Dunny of Destiny? Yeah. You gotta go in there, open the lid, put your hand in and pull out that destiny. How do you guys feel about this? I'm looking forward to it. Oh, awesome. Really cool. Then get in there. Okay. Dive it. Wait, put your hand in there as well. Oh, man, that's great. I got it. Yeah, well, yeah. come out and read it out loud. Oh. It says hoe down. Oh, hoe down. Back in the day, Slimy Hollow was known for their country dancing and their hole downs. It's up to you to host a hoe down. You'll be doing it before the first challenge tomorrow. You're going to be conducting country dances, singing a bit of country music, and getting everyone into it. Because if you do, you'll get thumbs up. You'll score a random badge. But if you don't, well, no badge for you. Bit of a catch, though. Everyone has to bring a date. And let's make the boys ask the girls. Okay. Okay. What do you think of the challenge? Interesting challenge you got there. Three, two, one, go! Coming up on Camp 
Orange Slimy Hollow. The team slide into history in the ultimate rush. Oh, and who are hard. who to the hoedown? <laughs> yeah, she's pretty hot. <laughs> Information declassified. Operative, you. Top Agent Ned has compiled new reports outlining survival tips for the most dangerous of assignments. School. School. This information will help you escape the worst situation you can imagine. The worst situation you can't imagine. The worst situation you could imagine, but can't imagine because they're unimaginable. <laughs> Ned's Declassified. Saturdays and Sundays at 6.30 here on Nick. This message will self-destruct. We're bringing the Star Wars family together again, brick by brick. A story so big it took six movies to tell is now in one video game. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Every hero and every villain like you've never seen them before. Play the award-winning game that brings the whole family together. All on your next-gen console. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Kicks and bricks in one through six. Manny Rivera has it all. Amazing powers. A caring family. Manny, I'm home. You're super macho. The macho is. And a best friend. <laughs> Full of brilliant plans. Oh, this is going to be awesome if we survive. And good advice. Well, we gotta take these babies out for a spin. We can steal my dad's boots. Not steal. Borrow. He is young and brave and good. Except when he is young and sneaky and bad. But mostly he is El Tigre. El Tigre, the adventures of Manny Rivera, a brand new Nicktoon. Every Monday at 4.30 in Savo, only on Nickelodeon. You're back with the Camp Orange Camp Out. Another challenge in another part of Slimy Hollow, with another chance for the teams to win a major badge that counts towards becoming the ultimate Nick campers. Well, you guys are dressed to get wet, right? Yeah! Great, because this is Game Orange and it's gonna be wet. Woo. The campers are about to go downhill fast. This is Game Orange at Slimy Falls. Now, today's challenge is based on a bizarre event that happened here in 1873. Local residents were shocked as they were rushed away by a giant torrent of water. And the only way they can stop themselves was to grab onto the undies that were hanging on the washing line. Today's challenge is pretty much based around the same thing. But instead of grabbing knickers, you're going to be grabbing coloured ribbons. Now, the aim for you guys is while sliding down, try and grab as many of your team coloured ribbons as possible. For every ribbon, you'll get two points. But if you grab another colour or dislodge it and it comes down after you, you will lose one point. The team with the most points at the end will be the Game Orange winner. Are you guys ready to do this Game Orange? Yeah! Let's get ready to slide! Yeah! 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 Three, two, one, go! Ooh. Chester heads into the first bend. Whoa, big air! Recovered from that dodgy start and has got it sussed. Now it's up to Torsten. Oh, this thing eats dodos. Oh my god! Let's see that again. Oh. That first corner is lethal, guys. Chester finishes and has collected quite a few ribbons. Here comes Torsten to add to the tally. Dodos. Kim looks nervous and so she should. That first bend is deadly. Yeah. Isabel takes off, keen to make up for what happened at Termite Towers. Kim fry in the rim while Izzy's getting dizzy. with the splash. And Isabelle's done well. Stacks of yellow ribbons there. First turn 
like deadly. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! It's the Cardi's turn. First with Katie. Boy! Good boy! Oh! Oh, she's taking them all out. This is not good. She just lost about five colours that were not yours. That means she's just lost about five points. For every wrong colour collected, the teams lose a point. And look what's trailing after her. Do you remember that you don't take all the ribbons? You just go take team ribbons. How are you feeling? Tomorrow's hoedown. They have to dance on a haystack or something. I think there's a bit of partner dancing. Yeah. That could be the boot dance. It could be some more, you know, it could be, you know, heel toe like that, holding hands. The girls are nervous about dancing with the boys. Okay, yeah. And the boys will do anything to find out what's going on. <laughs> nice try, Thunder Monkeys. Guys, welcome back to the evening gathering. You've completed your second day at Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. There were two challenges today. The Captain's Challenge and Game Orange. Now those badges are worth one point. I'll also be giving out some random badges, so that will be worth half a point. Right, we'll start off with the Captain's Challenge. It was a combined team effort today. Boys versus girls. Bit of team bonding. Is that right? Yeah! It was pretty obvious who won that one. Boys, you were just unstoppable. So the Dancing Dodos and the Thunder Monkeys, you both get a Captain's Challenge badge. Woo! Yeah. But I have to mention one person who stood out quite a lot to me. And that was you, Katie. You were catching every ball that Isabel was throwing. And trust me, she nearly hit me with those balls. So that's an effort and a half. For that, 
The Cotties are getting a random badge. Yeah. Check out that, guys. You're on the board. Oh, yeah. 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 Thunder Monkeys, you guys owned today. Not only did you combine win the captain's challenge, but you also took out the game orange. You were really close. Salted peanuts, you were one point off. Were you disappointed? Second yes. place. That's well, that means, Thunder Monkeys, you get a game orange badge. <laughs> Katie, your first slide, your first turn. You managed to just slam dunk every single ribbon you possibly could. I could not believe it. And for that, you are getting a random badge for humour. And that's what we need here. Round of applause. Yeah. And now for the Dunny of Destiny. Dancing Dodos, you were the first people to go into the Dunny of Destiny and the first people to take out that challenge successfully. For that, you get your random badge. Congratulations! Yeah. Speaking of the Dunny of Destiny, guys, it's your turn now, and you've been in there. What's your challenge this time? Tomorrow we have to host a hoedown. A hoedown? A hoedown. Yeah. That sounds interesting. Now, boys, you don't know this, but at a hoedown, you're going to have to bring a date. What do you think about that? <laughs> Gives you something to think about. Definitely looking forward to tomorrow now. Right, let's have a look at today's standings. Okay, the Thunder Monkeys, you are ahead. But guys, remember, there is so much more Camp Orange left. It's not funny. It's anyone's game. Let's do the sign off. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Joe They were on fire. They were just, it was their day. It's definitely been a great day for the Thunder Monkeys. We had to do the Dunny of Destiny. The card just said Ho Down. And me and Isabel's faces just filled with dread from that because we don't like Ho Down. I think it will help a bit because we're dancers. Yeah, show the girls how it's done. I'm not sure about country. Like, I'm a bit off on country, I can tell you that. Truthfully, I'm not good. We put pressure on the guys by making them choose the girls. Kind of found it a bit strange that they they pulled out the challenge and then the boys really had the hardest part. It's all good. Get to know some girls, do some dancing. What's the problem? It's fun. The girls were all sitting down and we just sat down in the front of one we wanted to go out with. So I sat in front of her and yeah, she was fine with it. Dutchie. Chosen particular. Closest friend for a girl. So far, yeah, she's a really nice girl. I think Chester just mm -hmm. chose because of height. I'm very short. I don't like being short. And Woodsy just chose out of the last two there. For me, it's just like that. Just do it. Take them while you're at it. Got to attack early, boys. Attack early. After the gathering, the campers meet in the Peanuts tent for a gathering of their own and a game of truth or dare. Yeah. Yeah, doing? To me! Oh, oh, okay, why did you pick Isabel oh. to go to the Ho Down with? Um, probably because she's No, a, seriously, you she's spill the it nicest out. girl here. Oh, <laughs> nice! She's kind of hot. Man, I gift you! Yeah. you. Why yeah. did you ask Carly to dance with you? Yeah. Well, first, because she's short and I don't want to be yeah. like, eh, because I'm short too. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> that was so secret he didn't even tell me. I mean, what? <laughs> Next time on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, the teams let off steam. The slime flies. You got it? No. And the haunted huts live up to their name. This ah! is so scary. Get in. Yeah, well, you're my size, so. No, I'm not. There you are. So tall than you. Yeah. Yeah, like an inch. centimeter. How tall are you? <laughs> yeah. 155. All he has to do is get on his, like, down. super funky platforms. Ooh, four centimeters. Yeah, so more than that. I'll take a dab. Ooh, oh, a dab. Now, what about oh. we make her run around 
every tent, running crazy like a crazy chicken. <laughs> Fuck those corny chicken legs. <laughs> Kingo, it's really cold. Oh yeah, I fit into a chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stick around, the Camp Orange campout will be right back. Weekend Mornings, brought to you by Lego Star Wars. The complete saga. Play the video game. Adil, genie school graduate. He's a wish granter. He wishes my command. Nose flute dancer. I, 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 I. Dramatic actor. Catch me. Expert camel cleaner. Remember, stand clear of either end. Ew. And a disaster waiting to happen. The scabby dog has fallen into the well. Jump on the magic carpet with Genie in the house. Mondays in Savo at 5 on Nickelodeon. The Insector is here. With its extraordinary organic design, the Insector is unstoppable. Turn him. Drag him. It's amazing. The Insector, ready to run, each sold separately. on Camp Orange. The quiet but deadly thunder monkeys took giant steps towards becoming the ultimate Nick campers. Winning three of the first four challenges. We did the best job in the world. The Dunny of Destiny gave the soldier peanuts the task of running a hoedown. But the boys were given the task of choosing a date for it. I kind of found it a bit strange that they, they pulled out the challenge and then the boys really had the hardest part. Today, it's the camper's most exciting day yet. From a hopped-up hoedown, <laughs> through surprise special guests, to a freaky nighttime adventure. <laughs> this is Camp Firing Slimy Hollow, day three. awake to an unexpected sight. It's actually sunny today. No sign of rain. It's good to see some sun, eh? Yeah. Perfect weather for the hoedown. Welcome to the Slimy Hollow Hoedown. The big moment has arrived and the boys line up opposite their chosen partners. Hello. Hello. Hey. Okay. Ready? And go! So let me give you the lowdown on this here hoedown. Chester chose Carly not just because they're the same height, but because, quote, she's hot. And Torsten chose Izzy for the same reason. And the grumpy Oscars complained about having to choose at all. So they chose not to choose. Or so they say. So, that was the hoedown. How do you think it went? Um, it was okay. It went okay. Okay. So, thumbs up if you had a yay old time. But thumbs down if it really was a hoe down. You ready? On three. One, two, three. Right, we've got thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs up. Three all. Well, it's a tie. It's my turn to choose. And I had fun. Woo! You guys have got a random badge. Woo! Now, there's a, a haystack there. What do you say we do to it? So we're going to go! Yeah, it's all fun and games with the hoedown, but it'll be a different story tonight when they face their fears in a very scary game, Orange. <laughs> but before that, I have a couple of surprises for them. Well, guys, I had a fantastic time at the hoedown. You are covered from head to toe in hay. Yeah, yeah pretty much. We've got the captain's challenge to do. Obviously, there's a lot of team bonding happening, so the teams are going to pair up again. Dodos? You'll be with the Salted Peanuts. 
Thunder Monkeys, you'll be with the Cardies. You are each going to have a special guest team leader. Now, one of those is very familiar with Camp Orange. It's Dave and James from Savo. Woo! Dave's been making me play Camp Orange with him on weekends. Oh, no. It's been kind of... Yeah. James has had to be all the campers at once. <laughs> yeah. And I hand him out badges. Okay, guys, are you ready to do the first captain's challenge with these guys? Yeah! The teams arrive at the Slimy Hollow Dam, hoping that Dave and James can lead them one step closer to becoming the ultimate Nick campers. Oh, it's going to be awesome. All right, in today's captain's challenge, both teams are going to have to build a raft. Yes! Yeah. The island of no return. Ooh. Now there, you'll have to claim Jack Slimy's treasure. Jack Slimy was a pretty ordinary pirate. He left all his treasure here and then sailed out on the open sea to loot some more gold. But when he got back, there was a dam built here. So he couldn't get back to his treasure. And that's why it's called the island of no return. In this challenge, you're going to build a raft with a pile of bits behind you. This raft has to be able to hold at least two people. The first team to sail to the island, claim the treasure and wave their joint team flag wins this captain's challenge. James, Dave, yeah. team leaders, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Pretty confident. Well, yeah. I know James knows nothing about raft building, so... Uh... Have you got a strategy then for us? Yes, I do. You want to tell it? Uh, sabotage, basically. Oh. <laughs> Based on uh, cheating. And I'm going to make an indestructible raft mod. Are you now? Unsinkable. Out of what? What knot are you going to use? The uh, half curly knot? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't right. exist. Too any uh, any to... penalties for sabotaging another raft? No. Oh. Oh. Knowing Dave, he's going to build something that's going to float. Oh. Tell you what, James is going to try and build like a rocket boat or something. <laughs> we can just get two really long pieces of wood yeah. and then just get like as many little ones as we can and just yeah. put them across. Well, they all talk a good raft. Now let's see if they can actually build one. Right, are you guys ready to build your raft? Yeah. Yes! Ready? Three, two, one, go! Go! The teams make a desperate grab for tire tubes, water tanks, ropes and poles. They only have ten minutes to build a seaworthy raft, so there's no time to lose. It's based on a traditional sort of, what do we say, Hawaiian design? Yep. We are building the raft that's going to win this little race. Half surfboard, half yacht. Woods, time time together. After dancing together, the guys and the girls are now working well together. But the dodos want more effort. It's taking too long. It's taking too long. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking real good. Five to go. You are halfway through. Bro, we've got some situations here. Let's start tying these on. This challenge is really bringing out the competitive streak in the two team leaders. It's looking good. Oh, they're going huge. Look at this. This is massive. Let's just stop and have a little laugh at Dave Lawson for a second. <laughs> That's right. Focus, stay focused. Right, 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 Dave's the one who should be laughing. He's got two expert knot ties. Katie from far north Queensland and Oscar Woods showing good form for a city slicker. Yeah, that. Yeah. Look at that. That is not coming off. This is good. Huh? With just seconds to spare, James's team is the first to finish building the raft. But it doesn't look too crash hot from where I'm standing. There's strength in there, guys. Five. Oh, yeah. Four, great three. the water and the race is on. With Chester and Izzy on James's raft and Katie and Kingo on Dave's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only two people on the raft. Sabotage seems to be the main strategy for both teams. James, stop beating up and splashing everyone. Chester's struggling to get going. Isabel, try not to be violent with that oar. I saw that. Katie and Kingo are having a few problems with their raft, mainly because James keeps attacking it. Dave's got his work cut out trying to stop him. The team is ahead and we've got someone slipping off. Go, everyone in. Dawson and Kim are joining in with the sabotage. Kingo decides to fight back. Oscar, try not to hit James on the head. Katie and Oscar have broken free. They're paddling as a team and they've overtaken Chester and Izzy, who seem to be going in circles. Dave, your team has overtaken James on the water. James changes tactics and gives his own team 
a much needed push. Hey! You're almost there. Here we go, like, come on, the power. Chester and Izzy are catching up. This is going to be close. Stacey has almost made it to the island. Come on, guys. Only metres from the island and there's nothing between the two teams. Chester and Izzy have hit trouble and the oh. others are almost there. On the and a fourth challenge win for the Thunder Monkeys. Dave's team has won this challenge! Congratulations! <laughs> Guys, that was the captain's challenge. Yeah. Winners over here! Yeah. What was it that you did that made you win? It's the rope. Have a look at our raft. Have a look at our raft in next there. Yeah, that's because you untied it. Yeah, Dave Lawson untied yeah. it. Oh, Dave Lawson untied it. <laughs> There's a bit of rivalry here, but um, it's going to make it even tougher because these two teams Crazy Cardies, Thunder Monkeys, both get a Captain's Challenge bag. <laughs> now, it was a Captain's Challenge. You all know what that means. That someone's got to go to the Dunny of Destiny. But we have two really special guests with us. So I thought I'd bend the rules a little bit. Oh! Yeah. And I'm going to give you four the opportunity to slime your Captain, James! Yeah. But I'm on five! here at Slimy Hollow. The campers are giving today's special guests the send-off they truly deserve. I mean, they've pretty much got the same design as us. They sort of copied they us. They cheated. <laughs> they cheated. I reckon there's nothing wrong with our team. It's just our raft. Our raft is pretty yeah. screwed up. Flimsy. I think we had the best the best team on the day. Where are we going to take it now? Let's take it to uh, Vanuatu. Vanuatu? Yeah, it's good. It's a land raft. Uh, oh, we can put it to the hovercraft. It's a hovercraft. It's a hovercraft. Alice Brent. Here we come. Vanuatu! <laughs> Coming up on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, you got it? No. the team scream as the haunted huts come to life. Oh my god. Did you just hear that? I didn't like this man. It's so scary. God. It's gonna be freaky. The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. Don't wish upon a star, don't wish into a well. Send your wishes to... Jamie in a baby! Savo's Super Segment, where Maud and Kyle grant your wish. This month, Savo's also giving you the chance to win a wish. And the company Maud and Kyle to the Sydney Star Started premiere of Paramount Pictures' B-Movie. Plus, the chance to win one of 25 runner-up prize packs. Send your wish to Jeannie and Avini at nickelodeon.com.au and watch Savo weekdays 4 to 6. Because this week, it could be your wish they're granting. Welcome to a park of dreams with silly themes, fun reign supreme. Make new friends and share a chat. Thrill feels awesome. Play some games and take a lap. Uh, what's with that gas? Something's wrong. Holy ass! That was awesome! Take your coaster off the rails. Lose your lungs, bite your nails. Be sure to crash after you bail. Thrill feels bonkers. Guaranteed to go cuckoo. Turn your guts into goo. Off the rails, this is just for you. The park of your wildest screams. Your park is now open. This November, Nick is going to make some noise! Blasting off with two new Nick heroes. El Tigre, the crime fighting belt buckle twirler, nana rescue and super kid. Let's do it! And showbiz boy, Ricky Sprocket. He has his own cereal. Kyle takes on the Let's Just Play challenge to get fit and healthy. Yeah. Then we'll turn it up a notch on the weekends with all three series of Camp Orange. There's no time for napping. This November, on Nick! Orange camp out. As the sun sets on Slimy Hollow, we prepare for the scariest game orange ever, the Haunted Huts. This two-part challenge will test the team's nerve and their detective skills. Now, where we are here was the original site of the Slimy Hollow Jail. The prisoners were locked up in the stocks there during the day and then at night they were locked up in these huts. By a strange coincidence, three brothers that were locked up in huts one, two and three all met their doom on the same night. Now, we think we know what happened to the brothers in huts one and two, but to this day we still don't know what happened to the brother in hut three. 
and they say that he continues to haunt that hut until the mystery is solved. And that will be your task tonight, to find out what happened to that third prisoner in hut three. When I first heard about the three brothers, I was pretty freaked out, actually. They don't know what happened to the third one. And that's our object, to find out what happened to him. My heart is going crazy right now. I never thought this challenge would be like this, but... God. Well, I'm terrified. I don't like scary stuff. I just freak out. This challenge even has me scared. Each team must visit huts one, two and three in order and follow the instructions on the door. Inside each hut is a key which they must collect to unlock the next hut. The Cardis are the first to reach hut one. Leave your torch outside. Here's, Here's a tip. tip. Simply must read. been successful in hut one. They have their keys. On to hut two. Reach into the tub and try not to squeal. You don't want to wake the electric eel. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Do you want to reach in there? I don't. is about to enter hut three. It's nothing to be scared of. It's all right. <sighs> Isabel oh. prepares to go in. Now you've got to be able to do this by yourself. It's all right. <laughs> Ready? I'm seriously afraid. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's all right. Oh. How long have you got to do it like okay. this? I'm really scared, Jack. Oh, this is so scary. Yeah. <laughs> There is nothing in this hut except a key, but the blindfold and strange noises make their imagination run wild. I haven't found it. No, no! Teammates wait outside, unable to help their friends. It's all right, man. Stop, this is starting to scare me. Say, ah! Ah! Oh, yeah, got it. Chance, you gotta help me. I can't. Holly, got it, got it, got it, got it. 
As scary as it we imagined it to be, it's still kind of super freaky. It's freaked out by that eel. <laughs> Ooh, scary. That eel thing was really over the top. It was like feeling a lizard. We had three. Ooh. <laughs> it wasn't that bad at all. But I'm still shaking. <laughs> yeah, it's just really freaky. And I screamed twice because I heard that noise. Man, it I was, was like nothing. petrified, like serious. But now. Okay, Seriously. knowing that it was like practically nothing, Isabel's just never gonna let me forget it. With the first part of the challenge successfully completed by all teams, I let them sleep and recover. They can solve the mystery in the morning. Now last night's game orange was the haunted huts. Your task was to find out what happened to the brother in hut three. We know that the brother in hut one was killed by a spider, and in hut two, by the electric eel. But right now, we'll find out what happened to the brother in Hut 3. Now, you've all got your keys that you found in Hut 3? Yep. 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 Great. Now, we'll all match up to team coloured boards that you have to open. You guys ready to do this? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Your 30 seconds starts now. The teams have 30 seconds to unlock their board and place four pictures in the right order, and then explain what happened to the prisoner in Hut 3. Whichever team shouts stop first gets to guess first. Stop, stop. And that's 30 seconds. So the order is the Dodos, the Salted Peanuts, the Crazy Carties, and the Thunder Monkeys. Okay, guys, you've got your order. Are you happy with it? Yep. Yeah, is it right? Your order is correct. Yes. Now, you need to tell me the story that happened. It was a very dark night, and um, he was reading his book with his candle on. Some of the, like, the fire sparks went onto the TNT, and then the TNT exploded, exploded, and he died. That is not the legend. I was very close, but that was not the legend. Sorry, guys. OK, Salted Peanuts, what do you think happened? It was really dark. It was night time. And he wanted he's to read a book, so he thought... So his candle, he was reading a book, and his candle blew out. And he just reached into the dark for another cylindrical object. For a candle. For a candle, and he lit it, except but it was, it was TNT. TNT. And it exploded. Guys, that's exactly correct. Yes! Woo! Oh, yeah! Woo! You are the Game <laughs> Orange winner this yeah. time. You're going to get a Game Orange badge. Woo! Hey campers, welcome to the evening gathering. I know it's not the evening, it's in the morning now. Last night's challenge was a little bit too scary and I did not want to have to do anything after that. The first challenge that we had was the captain's challenge. The winners were the Crazy Carties yeah. and the Thunder Monkeys. Yeah. And for that, you guys will get your captain's challenge badge. Woo. Woo. The second challenge was the Game Orange, the scariest challenge ever. Dancing Dodos, you guys had the puzzle first, but you couldn't say the right legend. So then it went over to the Salt of Peanuts, and you guys nailed that. For that, you are the Game Orange winners. Two big badges now. That. But I'm going to have to give out some more badges for that challenge. Carly, crying and laughing at the same time. And Katie, you supporting her. For that, you guys get a Hollow Hero badge. Isabel, you were there for Kim, and your strength was so impressive. You stood strong, and for that, you're going to get a Hollow Hero badge too. Woo! Okay, Salted Peanuts, even though you did pick up the badge for getting the legend correctly, Dancing Dodos, you got the puzzle out first, and for that, you're going to get a random badge of speed. Yeah. Another thing that happened yesterday, was a hoedown performed by the Salted Peanuts as their Dunny of Destiny challenge. I had a blast, and for that, you're gonna get your random badge. <laughs> so this is how the board stands on day three. Thunder Monkeys clearly ahead with the most big badges, but so many more challenges, so many twists, it's not funny. It's anyone's game, because this is Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. We're gonna do our sign off, yeah. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Patties! Peanuts!
Next time on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, the team set a cracking pace at Poacher's Run. Oh, and there goes three. And as the quest to become the ultimate Nick Campers heats up, the salted peanuts get serious. All that stuff about, you know, friendly rivalry, you know, they're all just our competition and we're just like such good mates. That's all gonna end tomorrow. Right guys, I'm gonna have to ask you to select your partners. So boys, grab your girl. Academy for a limited time, only seventy nine ninety five with Wii Remote. SpongeBob is getting ready ah! for a trip out of Bikini Bottom to come and meet you. My name is SpongeBob, and this is my associate Patrick. Hi. It's your chance to get up close and personal with the spongiest Nicktoon around. You are hilarious. If you're ready to meet SpongeBob in person, come to Stockland, Borkham Hills, corner of Olive Street and Windsor Road, Borkham Hills in New South Wales, on Saturday the 17th of November. Meet and greet with SpongeBob from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. This is gonna be the coolest party ever. Until then, keep your eyes peeled because SpongeBob could be visiting your town next. Ain't he the funniest little sponge you ever saw? Let out by the channel that brings the Nicktoons to you, Nickelodeon. They're gonna be talking about this one for a long, long time. You're back with the Camp Orange Campout. Previously on Camp Orange. Four pairs of best friends arrive at Slimy Hollow, settle in and make new friends. Oi! But warm and fuzzy feelings are soon forgotten as the teams compete to be crowned the ultimate Nick Campers. You do whatever you have to do. Yeah. yeah. And if worst comes to worst, injure someone. You guys, keep this up, we're gonna win it. Thunder Monkeys, Oscar and Oscar, pick up four badges in six challenges. Salsa Peanuts, Izzy and Kim start well, then they go downhill. Oh, one point. Oh, but in. after the Haunted Hearts, their campaign is back on track. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dancing Dodos, Torsten and Chester, are held back by dodgy tactics. Oh, okay. And the kind of bad luck Slimy Hollow is known for. Can't get it all. Crazy Carties, Carly and Katie, finally win their first big badge on day three. But as it's a joint challenge, it means you get another badge for the monkeys. At the midway point of Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, they are the team to beat. 
And today it's getting hotter. Tempers are fraying and the yellows and the greens are starting to see red. It's really frustrating. It's time for the fun the monkeys to lose. This is Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, day four. to the Dunny of Destiny on day three, there's no task to perform today. But there's something sneaky going on. Guys, if, if they attack us now, we'll get them. But if they don't, it's night time. Kim makes a grab for the Thunder Monkey's flag. But Torsten retaliates, making off with the Cardi's flag. Olé, olé. Nice goose step, Dutchie. There's only one way this game's going to end. They snapped our flag. What did you do to our flag? And I stood here like this and then they walked into it and it snapped. Oh my god! Shall we come straight on the parties? This definitely means sports. Yeah. We got hands in people. Salt your peanuts. So, with war declared, it's time to get day four underway. So, campers, we've reached day four of Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. Crazy Cardies, got a question to ask you. What has been your favourite challenge so far? Favourite challenge has been the kayak. Carly, what about you? Favourite challenge? My favourite challenge was last night's challenge at Spooky Walk because I was crying and laughing at the same time and it was funny. As you know, each day there are two challenges. Captain's Challenge and Game Orange, or Go. Now, the winners of these challenges will be rewarded with badges and that will determine who will become the ultimate Nick Camper. Who's it going to be? Us! Oh, oh, yeah, 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 Alright, so you guys ready to do today's Captain's yeah. Challenge? Yeah! yeah. Time to find out what this morning's declaration of war means for the challengers. This captain's challenge could prove to be a smash with the teams. Welcome guys to the poachers run. Now in the early days, times were tough at Slimy Hollow and the poachers used to sneak into the chicken cages and steal all the precious eggs. As you can see, the terrain's pretty rough and so the farmers would easily catch the poachers just by checking the trail for broken eggs. And that's what you'll be doing in today's captain's challenge. You'll start off with 12 golden eggs and you need to get from one end of the poachers challenge to the other. You have five minutes to take as many eggs as you can across. So you're not gonna be carrying these eggs, oh no. They'll be in egg cups and they'll be sitting on a plank of wood which must be carried between you two. So not only is this challenge about balance, it's also about strategy. This is a captain's challenge, which means that someone will have to visit the Dunning of Destiny after. And that team today will be the team that smashes the most amount of eggs. Not only will the winners grab a captain's challenge badge, they will also receive a $500 sports voucher donated by Staminade. So, who wants to win now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we win this one? Those, the logs, we have to walk on them. Oh, really? Yes. And you can't walk backwards. Make it like the yeah. person in front has to walk. We'll go side on. It's just like doing beam and gymnastics. Yeah. While the girls plot, the boys play. Ooh. Three, two, one. Ooh. Up first, it's the dodos and the monkeys. Strategy is important. More eggs, less runs, or more runs, less eggs. Dodos are starting with two eggs. Dancing dodos. Two body lengths ahead almost. Monkey's going out with three. Who will be the first to crack? Oh, now they've caught. No, the egg has not broken. Oh, Thunder Monkeys have lost one egg, but two eggs to go. Oh, nearly, Oscar, nearly. So they've both still got two eggs. Oh, no, the egg has not broken again. If an egg drops but does not break, the teams can pick it up and keep going. Watch out for the balls. Oh, there's another egg lost, but I... No, it has broken. Oh, another egg broken, guys. Must keep going, though. Okay, I'm gonna run back. Right, run back, run. Okay, both teams have one egg. Now you have to run back on the course. With 
Time running out, the teams decide it's all or nothing. Go on, you've got two minutes for your last run. This will be your last run. Okay, Thunder Monkeys with six eggs, Dancing Dodos with five eggs. But the Dodos lose too. The time pressure is making this challenge even harder as the boys scramble across the beams. How many have broken? The Dodos have to start again. The Monkeys power on. Guys, you've only got one minute. Just grab them and go. Ah, three down, three to go. Chess is in trouble. And the Dodos are out of eggs. But the Monkeys still have two. Nine, eight, seven. They're in. have collected three eggs, smashing six, while the Dodos collected one, smashing a whopping 11. They are not happy campers. One, two, three. The girls have seen how the boys did it and they know how many eggs to beat. Three eggs, four eggs. The Peanuts are going with four eggs and the Cardis have stepped up with seven. Salted well, Peanuts are dancers, their balance might be taking. Two down, two to go for the Peanuts. Seven. Left, right, left. Slow down, right, left. Seven eggs, right, left. Katie and Carly show excellent balancing skills. And Kim's ballet manoeuvres pay off. But as we've already seen, balance is only half the challenge. Cardi, you're going great. Crazy Carly's, you've still got seven eggs. Left. Make that six. The Dodos are egging the girls on to beat the Thunder Monkeys total. Okay, I'm going down now. Come on, we're doing well. We're so close. That's it. The Peanuts have two eggs. They need two more to win. Oh, don't worry about it. Just... Oh, they've broken almost every egg. Time is running out and it looks like the slimy hollow curse has fallen on the Cardi. Oh, damn. Four, can we? Just run back. Run. Run. Oh, come on, come on. Back here in the court. Come on. Katie takes a huge tumble. Oh, she takes a nasty fall. This is a close one. But she's back on her feet. The peanuts are off with four. Three. Every single one. Uh, two, but they can still win. Oh, uh, one left. They can only hope to draw. Peanuts, you're going good. It's up to the Cardis with their five remaining eggs to bring a stop to the thunder. Go, go. Get this one in. Right, left. Tragedy. The Cardis just have two eggs left. And the peanuts are out. Time is almost up. Four, three, two, one. Both eggs are broken. Sorry, guys. The peanuts finish with two eggs. The Cardis just one. Thunder Monkeys, you had three eggs, didn't you? Yeah. Well done. So that's another captain's challenge badge for you guys. Woo! You both get a $500 sports voucher by Salmonade. Yeah! We've got another problem though. Because the condition was that whatever team smashed the most amount of eggs was to visit the Dunny of Destiny. Dancing Dodos, Cardis, you both smashed 11. We've got a bit of a dilemma. But when dilemmas happen, I'm the one who solves them. So the team that's going to go to the Dunny of Destiny the card is, because you haven't been yet. So that was the captain's challenge for today. Let's get back to base camp. Yeah. So it's the Cardi's turn to draw a task from the Dunny of Destiny, while the Thunder Monkeys rack up their third captain's challenge badge. We didn't think we'd win that, man. We just got beaten by one egg. We wanted to go for, like, all of them. It just didn't work out. The suspense was... Killing us. Killing us. Like, Cardi's at the end. We were so close to having seven eggs right like at the end until we dropped them all. Yeah. We're feeling happy. We don't really mind that we lose. It's just all about fun. They're giving lots of other people random badges so it doesn't look like 
We're Total just thrashing. Thrashing everyone. All the remains of Slimy Hollow's original homestead, Destiny, is its whiffy outhouse, the Dunny of Destiny. And the egg smashing carties are about to take a lucky or unlucky dip into its slimy bowl. Okay, guys, we're at the Dunny of Destiny. You excited? Yeah. Okay, well, you know what to do, don't you? Yeah. Off you go. What is it? Oh, please tell us. Yeah, come on, tell us. Please, please. There are going to be some ingredients set up. Oh, no. Oh. Now, they're not going to be very nice, but I'm not going to tell you any more than that. Some of these are going to be mixed together by the other team. They're going to choose what goes in the chunder box. And guess what happens with the chunder box? They go on top of our heads. All over your head. Oh, oh yeah. No. Good luck, guys. Can't wait till tomorrow, yeah. Oh, I need to take your time with Coming up on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. The campers are held hostage on a giant web. Can they be rescued before the eight-legged freaks return? And a challenge is issued. Thunder monkeys are not unstoppable. OK, because... Nobody here is unstoppable. Before. Yeah, exactly. We can beat them. The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. Manny Rivera has it all. Amazing powers. A caring family. Manny, I'm home. You're super macho. The macho is. And a best friend. Full of brilliant plans. Cool. This is going to be awesome if we survive. And good advice. Well, we got to take these babies out for a spin. We can't steal my dad's pool. Not steal. Borrow. He is young and brave and good. Except when he is young and sneaky and bad. But mostly he is El Tigre. El Tigre, the adventures of Manny Rivera, a brand new Nicktoon. Every Monday at 4.30 in Savo, only on Nickelodeon. Who has the biggest brain in your family? Uh, <laughs> single tooth guy. Yes! Ha, let's get it from me. New Big Brain Academy. For a limited time, only $79.95 with Wii Remote. Game on! You guys gonna kiss or what? Last one out is a sponge it. Yeah! Check it out! We need more speed, baby! He's good! Me and Monday to Thursday mornings on Nick. I was just warming up. You're back with the Camp Orange Camp Out. This so-called Bridge of Dirt leads to today's second challenge, which will bring us one step closer to finding out who will be the ultimate Nick Campers. So, Campers, it's time for Game Orange. Are you ready for it? Yeah! Being in the bush, do you think you're going to come across a lot of spiders and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm really, really afraid of spiders, so um, I think this next challenge is going to be pretty interesting. Mm. You ready to do it? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Woo Today's second challenge is a test of nerve, speed, stamina, climbing skills, and ability to survive a good old sliming. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Venom Valley. Oh, oh, beautiful. That's a beauty. This place was once named after the giant carnivorous spiders that used to roam around Slimy Hollow. I thought all the spiders had gone, but by the look of it here today, they must be back. Game Orange Challenge is all about rescuing a team member. That team member will be stuck in the giant web in the queen structure. It's up to the other team member to rescue them. The remaining campers must crawl under the mesh, then climb the queen spider's tower of terror. At the top, there are buckets of anti-venom to pour onto their sick buds before they can be untied and carried across the finish line. There will be two heats and a final. 
but I've got to mention something. There are spies around, so the rescuer needs to be wearing protective gear, and that protective gear will be giant gumboots. Are you ready to do this challenge? Yeah! Okay! Ready? Yep. Three, two, one! It's heat one. Carly and Kim are trapped, so it's Katie and Izzy to the rescue. Oh, boots off already! Quick, whack that straight back on. Oh, tripping. Izzy slightly ahead climbing the Queen's Tower of Terror. I hope they check their boots for spiders before they put them on. Okay, Izzy's up the front of venom down the middle of the hole. Izzy soaks Kim in the anti-venom. And Carly gets drenched. Oh, that's a good one. Good one, Katie. There's not much in it as the rescuers untie their teammates. Okay, Izzy's already untying Kim and there's only got the feet to go. Izzy and Kim are the first to reach the ground. The salt and peanuts win, but who will they face in the final? Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Time for them to lose for once. OK, on my belt. After losing out to them at Poacher's Run, Torsten and Chester badly want to beat Oscar and Oscar this time. Oscar's looking strong on the Tower of Terror, but Torsten's making up for lost time. Hey, Oscar, up. There's very little in it as the anti-venom flies. Oscar's almost free. I'm Very, very close race yet again. Torsten's having problems with his boots. Have eliminated the dodos and they're not happy. I'm the monkeys, I just like winning everything. You just like they're unstoppable. I think Luke got a very, very good chance. His speed and my hanging skills, hanging skills, we can pull out on top. Thunder the monkeys are not unstoppable. Okay, because nobody here is unstoppable. Before. Yeah, exactly. We can beat them. Okay, guys, this is the finals now. Whoever wins this will get the game orange badge. Three, two, one. Oscar and Izzy set off, with the Cardis and Dodos cheering on the Peanuts. Let's move it! Okay, Thunder Monkeys are out first. Oh, the gumby problem. Izzy's stuck in the web. Neck and neck, guys, neck and neck. Oscar starts climbing first. Go! Izzy's playing catch up. Unbuckle, man, unbuckle, catch up. Izzy's boot has come off. Watch out for that gum boot, Izzy. Oscar gets his second soaking. <laughs> Izzy pours the anti-venom. Now she's got to move fast. They're both at the untying stage. Who can free their teammate first? The Thunder Monkeys are down. Kim leaps on Izzy's back. challenge win for the Thunder Monkeys. So Thunder Monkeys, again, another game orange. How'd you do it? Um, fast. We kept the gum boots on our feet. Yeah. So, um, other three teams, how do you feel about these guys winning again? Yeah, we have to kill oh, you or something. Yeah. yeah. They're like yeah. poison you. Yeah. yeah. Is there a bit of tension or are you happy for them? Yeah. No, we're happy for them, but we want to kill them as well. Yeah. Well, guys, don't let that get you down because there are still so many more challenges to come, OK? Yeah. 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 And you know what happens when we have challenges? Yeah. You betcha. They're a twist. Can everyone do the twist for me now? Yeah. That's twist egg. We've been one ribbon away, and we've been one egg away, and now we've been one gumboot yeah. away. Yeah. So it's really frustrating. It's kind of disappointing because they just keep on winning. Well, we did need that badge, but I'm not really Go disappointed. Go Monkeys! Yeah, because we've still got... All that stuff about, you know, friendly rivalry, you know, they're all just our competition and we're just, like, such good mates. That's all going to end tomorrow. Oh. Come on, buds! Yeah. How you all going? Yeah. 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 So, guys, recapping on today, we had two challenges. The poachers run, that was a really hard one. There were eggs breaking just oh. everywhere. Who won that challenge? Because I'm pretty sure, hold on, I'm pretty sure, you collected two. You guys got three. Yay. So you guys got the first Captain's Challenge badge. Yeah. That does look pretty good.
pretty impressive. Yeah. I'm going to give out another badge for this one. This person has earned the stack of the week. You know who you are. Katie, your team, the Crazy Ks, are going to earn a random badge for the best stack. What can I say, guys? It is clearly Thunder Monkey Day. Not only did you beat the Dodos, but you also beat the Peanuts. So you're going to get your Game Orange badge. Salted Peanuts, is this not the third time that you have been beaten by the Thunder Monkeys by one point? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's what we're You know what? This time, you're going to get a badge for it. Oh, thank you. Oh, the runner up random badge. Now, guys, Chester, Torsten, you never give up. You put 100% in every time. And for that determination, you're going to get a random badge. Thank you, guys. Another day, another Camp Orange. This is going to be so much bigger, so much better, because tomorrow is full of laughs and full of huge adventure. You ready for it? Yeah! You guys want to do the sign off? Yeah! Let's do it! Donos! Hardies! Peanuts! Monkeys! Slimey Hollow! Woo! Woo! When night falls at Slimy Hollow, the teams forget about the challenges and the quest to become the ultimate Nick campers and just hang out. It hit me. Oh, it's you again. It's good to see they get along so well despite their different backgrounds. Corky and Katie have got a real Aussie accent. It's like, oh my God, we love your accents. Oh, Carly's accent. We just, Tosin and I can't get over it. They always ask me to say news. Like, that's when I say two people. Because they've got such an Aussie accent, we make them say Aussie things. They actually have more obvious accents. Hughes, throw some prawns on the bobby. I just wish I had that accent instead of, like, an English one. I think the other teams are starting to... Getting a bit, um, starting to get a bit irritated. Maybe a bit, a bit jealous. We were so close to getting that go challenge. Oh. It was the third time we lost by, like, a hair to the Thunder Monkeys. We feel happy for them, just a bit. And me and Isabel both feel really defeated at the moment. I don't think it's our fault. I think they need to up the competition a bit. They're all really nice people, and I don't think they... they would get, like, really, really annoyed over something like that. The salted peanuts thought... Um, I think they were just joking about it, but... Uh, they said the only way that they can stop us is to poison us. And I think um, that means they're just inconfident about themselves. They have to cheat to get rid of us. We're closest to the Thunder Monkeys because me and Isabel keep our friends close, but our enemies in closer. So. Next time on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, what mystery lies in the flooded cave? Kim unleashes her secret weapon in the water bomb war. And you just never know who you'll find wandering around Slimy Hollow. Like, literally. Literally. Yeah. Okay, literally. fine, guys, in our tent right now. Yeah. Let's go. If everyone's, like, on guard tonight like they were last night, maybe some of them are just, like, sit in the dining room and wait for everyone to go to sleep and then think that they've gone in bed. You'll see a little metal thing, metal thing come out of here. Then you know it's out. This whole side will collapse. Think something we're gonna need. Fake snake. Yeah, yeah. that guys. Maybe if we could find a dead big spider. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. It's gonna be a big battle. And this team here will triumph. Nobody touches the flag. Stick around. The Camp Orange campout will be right back. Surfboard? Check. Beach? Check. Six new surfers hoping to make the pro circuit? Check. Excellent. Nickelodeon's packed and paddling into a brand new series of blue water high. You like some fun? Come on to the night. You can thank us next to me, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun, sand, surf. Doesn't get much better than this. Catch the new crew Wednesdays at 5 in Savo on the home of blue water high. Nickelodeon. Barbie girls.com But you need your Barbie girl To unlock the whole world Barbie 
Girl is my online key to unlock club beauty and to adopt a pet. Only Barbie Girl unlocks more of the me I want to be. Design my room online. Cute Fox. Cute Puppy. Aquarium. Pink Panda. Only Barbie Girl unlocks. My best friend, Chat. And she's a real MP3 player. Barbie Girl device each sold separately. Works with PC and Windows XP or above. Adult setup required. Ask parents permission before going online. Baby alive, a baby so real. What's in Wiggles, baby alive? There's your bottle. You start to wiggle, then you wet. <laughs> You're as real as a baby can get. What's in Wiggles, baby alive? Girl and boy, each sold separately. It's Cube World Jumbo Cubes, because bigger is better. Works with all your stick people, but how you connect them is going to affect them. Bigger screen, bigger laughs. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Cube World Cubes, each sold separately. Challenges by a slim margin. The Cardis, with a strong chance of winning, cracked within sight of the finish line at Poacher's Run. We were so close to having seven eggs right like at the end until we dropped them all. Yeah. And Isabel from the Salted Peanuts lost her boot and the challenge at Venom Valley. But today is a new day where anything can happen, like boys in dresses. The teens go for the big laughs at the Slimy Hollow Comedy Festival. And we go underground to solve a mystery deep within the flooded cave. How are we supposed to feel? Just go. This is Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, day five. Slimy Hollow in the morning. We didn't take down no chance. We, well, we, we only one. We only one thing on there to put it back. Like last night at twelve o'clock. Yeah, we yeah, were. Yeah, let's go to the girls too. You weren't sleeping. You were listening to what we were exactly. saying. You could have been minding your own that business, but you chose not to. There's one fact you need to know. You never mess with the boys. Mm -hmm. And you never mess with the girls. Yeah, it's all just going. You guys are powerful today. It's officially war. Good morning, campers. How are you? Good morning. A bit tired. Hi. Why didn't you get enough sleep? Last night, um, we had a party with the fun, the monkeys, and um, we thought it was time to sabotage the girls' tents. So was that a bit of boys versus girls, was it? Yeah, yeah pretty much. So not only is it war, but it's getting a bit physical, a bit, a bit full on. Is that right? Yeah. Damn straight. Yeah, but we're still it's friends. It's just war yeah, between friends. friends. Like yeah, we're still friends. Yeah. So is this going to impact on the challenges at all, do you reckon? No. no. So I don't yeah. think it's going to be a Because obviously there's a pretty big lead by the Thunder Monkeys. So do you reckon today would be a really good opportunity to get back at them? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, yes. You guys ready for today's challenge? Yeah. yeah. But first, we've got some unfinished business. In Poacher's run on day four, the crazy Cardi smashed the most eggs and was sent to the dunning of destiny. Chunderbop. With the Cardi's blindfolded, the others mixed together a breakfast concoction for them. Spinach, custard, eggs, bacon and slime. James, you happy with the chunder box? Yeah! All right, are you ready to get chundered? Yeah. Okay, ready? Thumbs up or thumbs down, whether they get a random bag. 
badge for that. On three. One, two, three. Six Yay! thumbs up. Six thumbs up. If I had more, they'd be up. <laughs> Definitely thumbs up all around and feed up for this one. Now, Crazy Cardies, not only are you going to get a random badge, but because I would rather be dead than do what you just did then, you're also going to win a DVD pack. Katie just want to share their brekkie with Daddy, everyone. He's in the dunny! He's in the dunny! Now for today's Captain's Challenge, which has more gags than the Chunderbox. Brad, get out! Okay, guys, this is today's Captain's Challenge. This one is extra special, though, because we're at the Slimy Hollow Comedy Festival. Yeah! Just before World War One, entrepreneur P.T. Slimy decided to put on the world's first comedy festival right here at Slimy Hollow. Great idea, but unfortunately it was a bit before the time because back then only three jokes existed. So unfortunately, the comedy festival was a complete flop. But I thought it was such a great idea that we'd restage it right here, right now for you campers. Now all of you will be performing a comedy act. We need some judges. And they'll be deciding the best performance and the performance most worthy for the Dunny of Destiny. You guys ready to meet them? Yeah! yeah. Our first judge was on the last Camp Orange, but he still sent in an audition tape for Slimy Hollow. I will do anything to get on that show. This is Andrew Diamond from Club Sandwich. Woo! Hello, Andrew. How are you? Good day. Okay, now you guys got to remember that Andrew from Club Sandwich actually won last time's performance challenge. And now it's time to meet our second guest judge. It's Tony Brockman. Woo! Good to see you all out today. Good to see so many smiling faces. All right, let's get started, hey? So, this Irishman, this Englishman, and this Australian. Hey, dude, Wh we're not performing, we're judging. We're judging? Yes, judging. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys, let's get your props and get this show underway. <laughs> and welcome, all you lovers of comedy out there, to the Slimy Hollow Comedy Festival. <laughs> You have some fantastic acts lined up here for you today, and the first one will be the Crazy Cotties. Take it away! The Cotties have made up some silent slapstick comedy. Katie's arms and Carly's face. So they can get the final word from the judges. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. What do you think? Well, I reckon the willingness to get dirty mm. has to add big points. That was great. Yeah. Stuff through the hair, all over the face. Full Fantastic. Sick. So what do you reckon out of 20? I'd say about 15. 15, absolutely. Yeah. You guys are 15 out of 20. What do you think about that? Awesome. <laughs> so cool. But next up, it's the Dancing Dodos. Take it away, guys. Woo! Dancing Dodos, yeah. Woo! We're the greatest magician in the whole world. The Dancing Dodos start out with Torsten, the glamorous assistant, to Chester, the magician. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to cut Torsten in half. Get ready, then. Suddenly, the act goes from tragic... The green blood to magic. To get people to believe green blood. Oh, oh, my God! That is the worst trick I've ever seen in my career. And you know what? What? You're the ugliest assistant I've had in 20 years. Well, you know what? We're not magicians and assistants. We're dancers. Well, mate, I have to say, the dancing was amazing. 
don't you think? Yep, absolutely spectacular. I reckon that was worth a 17. Fine, 17. 17! Yeah! Oh, right. 17! That means you're coming first at the moment. Now, the salted peanuts reckon they're really nutty. Let's see if this is true because they're up now. They say I am the freaky kid, the freakiest in the school. And now the peanuts have gone for rap, nerd rap, in a number called I Read, Bite Me. I'll prove them wrong because Grand Me has we from India. Yeah, we're just as good as Chile, it's just in a different way. We're hot, I mean, hello. We're playing street croquet. We get straight A's in everything except E. Judges, and they're going to do that right now. <laughs> Andrew? We have come to our decision. It is very important decision. I like the decision. The decision is good. The yes. decision is really good. Oh, I'm a big fan it, of the decision. Yeah, the decision is nice. The decision is 16. 16. Oh, guys, a solid 16. Woo! Great work for the salted peanuts. We're currently in second position. So we have one final team in this comedy festival, and that's the Thunder Monkeys. Take it away, boys! The Thunder Monkeys have come out as a couple of ladies drinking green tea. You've done yourself. You're right, Ben. Shut up! I'm so sorry, Betty. I'm so sorry. been around a bit and uh, we know funny. Yes, we do. Cheese. Fart jokes. Um, monkeys throwing poo. Very funny. That, however, wasn't funny. I don't know about you, Andrew, but uh, I thought that was appalling. It was a bit embarrassing. We're going into negatives, unfortunately. I'll uh, give you negative 15 plus one for the dresses, plus one for the slime, minus 13. What do you say? Yep. Minus 13. Woo! Woo! Round of applause. Yeah. Oh! Minus 13. Oh! That is the record lowest score we have ever had. Great. Yeah. Right, so uh, we have a clear winner, I guess, and that winner is, guys? The Dancing Dino. Yeah. Hey, can I get everybody up here for the <laughs> What a challenge. Slapstick, slime, silliness, and how about those judges? I don't think it's worth minus 13. I think mine like five. Five, yeah, be a little bit more reasonable. Yeah, but they really had to rub it in, didn't they? Yeah. And just to rub it in some more, the boys head straight for the dunning. Finally made it. You guys know the drill here? Yeah. Off you go, guys. Disgusting. Wow. Oh, come out, guys. Back. Um, I've got slime off. Slimey hollow. Award ceremony. Now, even though Slimy Hollow had the population of a ghost town, they still managed to hold an award ceremony. And that's what you guys are going to be doing tomorrow as we gather for the last day at Camp Orange. Pretty simple. Each team member will get allocated a certain award. Too easy, guys. Yeah. Now, can you wash up? Because that's really gross. Coming up on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. What lies hidden in the flooded caves? Not just that. And the art of water bomb war, oh. negotiation, okay. deception, and the ultimate weapon, Kim. <laughs> The crime fighting belt buckle twirler, nana rescue and super kid. Let's do it! And showbiz boy Ricky Sprocket. He has his own cereal. Kyle takes on the Let's Just Play challenge to get fit and healthy. Then we'll turn it up a notch on the weekends with all three series of Camp Orange. There's no time for napping. This November on Nick!
Always wanted to play soccer with the pros? Well, now you can when you click on the Nick Shack and kick it with Wheat Bix. Head to nickelodeon.com.au and get soccer tips from legendary soccer and Wheat Bix kid Tim Cahill. Then take to the field and make Tim keep the ball in the air for as long as possible to get your name onto the high scores board. The player with the highest score will win a jersey signed by Tim himself. So stop dribbling and race to the Nick Shack and get ready to click it, kick it and win with Australia's favourite breakfast, Sanitary, Wheat Bix and Nickelodeon. We're bringing the Star Wars family together again, brick by brick. A story so big it took six movies to tell is now in one video game. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Every hero and every villain like you've never seen them before. Play the award-winning game that brings the whole family together. All on your next-gen console. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Kick some bricks in one through six. Who has the biggest brain in your family? One. Let's go. Go, go. go, go. Oh, we're so ready to the tree. That one's easy. That one? Yeah. Oh, I'm such a dumb. All right, Harry's on. Oh, Let's go. A little bit there. I'm watching, I'm watching. Yes. <laughs> Must get it from me. And here's our winner. Oh, rematch. New Big Brain Academy. For a limited time, only $79.95 with Wii Remote. Introducing the world's biggest kid movie star, it's Ricky Sprocket. Ricky Sprocket is living the Hollywood showbiz dream, and the ladies just love to love him. Don't miss Ricky Sprocket, a brand new Nicktoon. You're back with the Camp Orange Campout. today's second chance to pick up a major badge. So let's just hope the campers aren't afraid of small, dark, damp spaces. Welcome to Flooded Cave. Miners looking for a get-rich-quick scheme flock to this cave to seek their fortune. But, like everything else at Slimy Hollow, it didn't go too well. There were floods, there were cave-ins. Some miners went in there and they never came back out. But there was another reason why this mine failed, and that's your challenge, to go in there, collect the clues and work out what was wrong with these mines. Let's go! In the first part of this challenge, the teams must crawl through the caves collecting five nuggets with letters on them in their team colours. These letters form part of a secret message. They only have ten minutes to complete this first part or they will be disqualified. How are we supposed to fit yeah. it? Just go. Yeah. Man, it smells really bad. Green. Yellow. It is small, and I found the first golden rock. Here. Oh. Here's another one. Yeah, another one. Yeah. Oh yes, I've got one right here. Uh huh. What? We're going through a pipe. Got another one. Lucy has to find. E O O E N S. Get there. Like, there were gaps about that big you had to get through. The first thing I 
thought when I got in there, I just thought, I do not know how big Oscar did this. I think it mattered about being tall. It was about if you're, like, really fat. It'd be really hard. Thunder Monkeys, let's go with the first letter. O. In the second part of the challenge, the teams must work out why the gold mine failed. Each team gets to choose a coloured letter which I place on the board. The first team to correctly guess the message will win this go badge. We'll go for a D. Yeah, we'll go for a D. All right, what's the message? Um, something food. No, next. T. Oh, sorry, T. G. S. Any clues? We think... Oh, I don't no. say it. We do have an idea. So everyone's got a bit of an idea? Please. All right, next team, go. S, F, yeah. L. D. Did you have anything to say? No, not really want to say. All right. L. Did you want to say anything? Oh, Rosie no. Cardis? No? OK, dancing dodos. We're going to go for an L. Go no for an L. Yeah. Do you want to take a stab at what it is? Um... Gold fooled me too. That was not it. Uh, like yes, um, fool's gold fooled me too. Guys, you're done again. Yeah. So, guys, oh. Thunder Monkeys, you have won Game Orange. Oh, I'll meet all the teams back at base camp. Oh. See you later. Oh. Oh. Oh, you should be so obvious, hey? Man, that's so painful. You should have put the O up there, man. God, she's to strangle them. Kimberly, oh, she's, uh, she was really mad. Kimberly, like, she's just kind of hard to settle time. down at the moment. <laughs> and the fact that most of them have been to the Thunder Monkeys, all of them except for one, and by like, Kimberly's having a little skits here. I'm trying really hard to hold myself to care right now. Anything's possible with Camp Orange. He could have double badges, there could be twists, anything. Yeah. I'll, I'll get so annoyed if more hand out so many RAM badges tonight. Hey campus, how are you? Good. Good. Today we had the Captain's Challenge, we had Game Orange. Comedy Festival, how was it? Oh, oh, fun. Fun. Oh, All the scores were pretty tight, except for the Thunder Monkeys, of course. So um, I'm pretty sure that the Dancing Dodo's got 17 points, which is best. Oh. Captain's Challenge badge, here it goes. Whoa! So the next challenge that we had was Game Orange, and that was the caving. Thunder Monkeys, you were the first team to get out that message, so I'm going to put up your Game Orange badge. For so that Game Orange challenge, I'm going to be giving out a Hollow Hero badge, and that's a badge of charity. Dancing Dodos, you guys took the first real stab at that message, and Torsten, you said every single word but the first word, and that was fools. Bit of irony there, but still, that act of charity pretty much led the Thunder Monkey straight into the right answer. I'm going to give you that badge. Woo! We also had a Dunny of Destiny challenge. Crazy Cardies, you picked out Chunderbox of all the ones you could have picked. Still stinks. It may have been pretty bad, but every single team had thumbs up for that one, so you're going to get your random badge. Woo! And not only did you get a random badge, but you also scored a Nickelodeon DVD pack. Yeah. Day five is done. Now, don't forget, tomorrow is the last day. There is so much more excitement, more exciting than anything we have ever done before. Are you ready for it? Yeah! Let's do the sign-off. Woo! Cardi! Monkey! I guess I'm happy for them. Yeah, they, they deserve it. They're great guys. The experience of this is just good enough. I mean, walking away, winning is just a bonus, I reckon. I really just want to win. We are going to try and suck up to Maud, so she'll give us, like, lots of random badges. Yeah, of course we're going to try and win the challenges and, you know, do it the right way. But we're going to try and make Maud laugh too. Our strategy is just, just to have fun and just keep going as we are. I reckon by the end of Camp Orange, me and Kimberly, if we won, we will be so happy. If we didn't, we will just be happy anyway because we got to come here. We didn't want her to come to this, but 
Or is war? Let's go. With today's challenges out of the way, the campus have returned to the serious business of war. This time with water bombs. I'm on your side. Someone's gonna get them. I think the donors are in our team. Hopefully they are because we sort of want to get the monkeys back. Yeah, but we don't need to shake because you trust us. Are you on our team or what? Yes. That's really? Oh, okay. We are not on their team. We're lying. You, or you can shake our hand in the silver. Okay, Good fine. Boy. Drench us. Bring it. Okay, we'll drench you. Oh. I think I'm deaf, guys. Oh. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> we can just stay here and bomb you guys all day long. The fight's over. Yeah, the fight's over. Yeah, the fight's over, so yeah. Just... Come on, Kimball. Yeah, come on. Yep, that was yep, a good yep. fight. You gotta say you betrayed your good. You know what? Okay. It's a true yeah. fact of life. You never mess fight. with the dodos. Next time on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. It's the last day and it doesn't get much bigger than this. Two huge, typically twisted challenges will make sure this Camp Orange goes down to the wire. Don't miss the thrilling final chapter in the history of Slimy Hollow. The crowning of the new Ultimate Nick Campers. We will beat them with that superior defence. And superior speed we and did. superior throwing. Okay. You guys are so oh, I just dropped my water bottle. Oh, man. Dancing <laughs> Dodos, I have no idea what you were thinking, man. Right. The Thunder Monkeys are winning. We were supposed to trash them. Hey, it's not about winning. It's about having friends. Now yeah. friends. Um, guys, we need to hold the wall while we go to the portal. Okay? Right. We got the girls really good, but um, it got a bit hectic after a while, so we had to call it for quits. And um, we're really happy with our betrayal. Stick around, the Camp Orange Campout will be right back. Surfers, athletes who always have their eye on the prize. <laughs> um, are always cool and calm. Get out! Go! Hmm. Always popular at school. G'day. I'm oh, Eric. Well, these guys still have a lot to learn, but they are an entertaining bunch. Catch the new crew of Solar Blue Wednesdays at 5 in Sabo on the home of Blue Water High, Nickelodeon. Bricks and Pieces has the gear to make your pool a ton of fun. Jet streamers, dive balls, scatterfish, magnetic dive buffs. Get your fun in the sun this year with a great range from Bricks and Pieces. Now available from your favourite retailer. The only rule here is having fun. When it comes to rides, it's number one. You can flirt and laugh and chat. Try your best not to go splat, because Thrillville is second to none. We're dropping fast, it's all going black. I can't see straight. Are we out of track? Your head will spin around, turn your guts upside down. In the contents of your stomach, you'll unpack. You'll leave your lunch and the tracks behind. You'll shake with fear and your teeth will grind. Off the rail is so extreme. The park of your wildest screams. The thrill feels designed to blow your mind. The park is now open. If bragging rights are on the line, hit the beach with Wahoo. Everyone is in for beach volley. Or take it down the sideline with Wahoo footy, rugby and soccer. Get the whole crew into beach cricket and beach bash. Wahoo, take it to the beach. Anything's possible today with two more challenges and a lot of 
up random badges up my sleeve. If Dodo's win the next thing, we'll only be one point in front and knowing Maud. She'll give out like so many random badges. Today in the grand finale of Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, it's Muck, Mud and more Muck. Not to mention a mega obstacle course. This is it, the big kahuna. The chance to show who's got what it takes to claim the grand prize. This is Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, the final day. Begins, our four teams have just one thing on their mind. To get a random badge, we will do anything. Yeah. I'll lick someone's shoe. I'll do five chunder boxes. Yeah. I will climb a tree, drop myself down, and then lick the floor around. <laughs> will he beat you? Yeah, beat you. I mean, beat you. Beat it's you. deadly stuff. Good morning, guys. Morning, morning. 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 This is the last morning gathering at Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. How are you feeling? You don't want to go? Because you've all been such fantastic sports, you all deserve some prizes. First of all, you're all going to be getting some camping gear by Coleman. You're going to get the sleeping bag, the map and the torches. The second prize is a Panasonic MP3 player. Don't forget, there is still one more day here at Camp Orange Slimy Hollow. There are still more badges up for grabs. There's still a grand prize to be given away and also a runner-up prize. So it's still anyone's game for more prizes. Woo! At the comedy festival on day five, the Thunder Monkeys stank almost as bad as the Dunny of Destiny. So it was up to them to pull out the final task. In Hollywood, they hand out the Oscars. At Slimy Hollow, the Oscars hand out the awards. Well, this person has definitely stacked it a lot on many different challenges, and that is why we think she's very funny. Katie, Katie. from the Cardi. Oh, no. Here's your honey hat. Thank you. And... Thanks, Thanks good. This award is for the loudest person. She tends to scream a bit. God, it's about it's about it's about and that person, that person is Kimberly oh, yeah. from the Salted Peanuts. Thanks, man. Give us a scream. Oh, that's oh. Next person is most likely to die of laughter award. Oh, oh, and that would be our good friend, Dutchie. Oh. Next award is for the messiest person. Messiest person. They would do anything to get a random badge. They will eat things. They will eat <laughs> eat things. Too. Isabella. Oh. You're the messiest person. Messy. Yeah. Messy. Messy. Next messy. award Messy. is for most improved. Now, this person seemed very shy when she got here. And over these last days, she's got very, very confident. You two get her pegs. And you don't get her pegs. Let's go, Charlie. Yeah. Rip that out. Just, just hold on. She gets a sticker. Now, this next award was my personal favourite. And this is the cutest award. This guy may be small, but he's but, got a lot of heart. Man, he, Jessa, come on. he is awesome. <laughs> now, guys, it's up to you to give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down on their efforts. Remember, if it's all thumbs up, they will be getting a random badge. Keep that in mind. Three, two, one. come to a tie. Therefore, I make the final decision. Now, compared to all the other Dunny of Destiny challenges, there's been a lot of effort involved, there's been a lot of thinking involved, there's been a lot of performing, or there's been a lot of smelling terrible. Guys, I think you got off too easy. Yeah. And for that one, thumbs down. Oh. You missed out on the random badge. <laughs> Hold on, what, what will be next now? Challenge! Challenge! It will be the captain's challenge. Are you ready? Yeah! Woo! Let's go! We are now just one captain's challenge and one game orange.
inch away from identifying the ultimate Nick campers. And you can be sure today's challenges will be as hard fought as all the others. At base camp on day one, Salted Peanuts outfought the other teams to claim the first captain's challenge. And when the Dodos were disqualified for bending the rules, the Thunder Monkeys conquered Snake Gully to pick up the first Go badge. You guys, keep this up, we're going to win. On day two, the boys triumphed when the Dodos and Monkeys bounced higher and threw straighter than the girls at Termite Towers. <laughs> then at Slimy Falls, the sliding and grabbing skills of Oscar and Oscar won them the precious badge. On day three, the teams joined forces again with the Crazy Carties and Thunder Monkeys making it off the island of no return with the treasure and a badge each. That night, the Peanuts held it together long enough to solve the riddle of the haunted huts. Day four was Thunder Monkeys Day when they set an example to the other teams at Poacher's Run. And laid up the anti-venom float freely as Oscar was rescued faster than you can say game orange. Twice. On the monkeys are just like winning everything. You just like, they're unstoppable. And on day five, the dancing dodos made the celebrity judges laugh loudest at the comedy festival. While the Thunder Monkeys used their nugget to solve the mystery of the flooded cave. Guys, you've done it again. They are in pole position as we head into today's Captain's Challenge. Well, guys, here it is. Slimy Swamp. Campers, you have all heard about the history and legends of Slimy Hollow. P.T. Slimy decided to take advantage of the building boom, so he built an apartment block right here, which is now known as the Slimy Swamp because everything that he built sunk into the ground along with his money. So this final captain's challenge is going to be dedicated to P.T. Slimy and his misadventures. In this challenge, the teams have to follow an adventure course through swamps, ramps, crocs and swings, collecting P.T. Slimy's work tools en route. In this time trial, the team that correctly places the five tools on the board in the fastest time will win the final Captain's Challenge badge. In the first run, it will be the Thunder Monkeys against the Salted Peanuts. Your time starts now. Isabel is against Big Oscar here. I'm just looking for this tool. She's sick of coming second to the Thunder Monkeys and is determined to finally beat them. Their teammates are waiting in the wobbling wheelbarrows. Ah, oh, a mistake by the Peanuts means that the Thunder Monkeys are first at the ramp of terror. They're flying across the logs of doom. The Peanuts are closing the gap. Oh, but that won't help. They have to swing into the pool of tools. Oh, the Peanuts dropped the rope. So Kim jumps for it. Both Oscars are now looking for the final tool, while Izzy is still trying to grab the rope. Yeah. Right. Thunder Monkeys are away, and it looks like yet another challenge has slipped through the salted peanut fingers. Hey, Thunder Monkeys, I have your time here. Awesome. You've got to get ready for heat two. One, two, three. Trying to beat the Thunder Monkeys' time, the Dancing Dodos take on the Crazy Carney. These teams really want to get that badge. Watch out for the crop! It's neck and neck of the wobbly wheelbarrow. Oh, but Jess is down. Well done, Katie. Go, go. Jester flies out of the wheelbarrow again. The Cardies have a huge lead now. The Cardies look strong across the logs of doom. Take them. Go, go, go. The Dodos have reached the ramp of terror. Go, 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 go. And they're making up great ground. Carly's in with one more piece to find. Jester follows, closely behind. At the stick, get it, Katie's frustrated, she can't get the rope. They're losing time. Go, Jess. Oh, that is love. Well done, Katie. They've got the two under the sky. Dodos have all their tools, but Katie can't find hers. It's a race for the finish line. Who put all the tools up first? This is really close. Oh, fumbled by the Cardies. Yeah, we're done. Yes. And the Dodos take it out. But have they beaten the Thunder Monkeys' time? You guys. Yeah. Oh. Good job, guys. That was close.
Okay, guys, this was a timed event. Dodos, you won your heat. Thunder Monkeys, you won yours. I'm going to tell you, the times were so close, you had the same seconds. You both got a minute 42. Thunder Monkeys, you got a minute 42, 19 microseconds. Dodos, you got a minute 42 and eight microseconds. Yeah! challenge and you've picked up the badge for that one. Congratulations guys. We thought the monkeys had it in the bag because we dropped the wheelbarrow twice. We didn't grab the rope and Carly had to do it twice and that's when the boys caught up. If Dodo's win the next thing, we'll only be one point in front and knowing Maud, she'll give out like so many random badges. Coming up on Camp Orange Slimy Hollow, the biggest obstacle course ever and surprises at the final gathering. Anyone's hand shaking? The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. SpongeBob is getting ready. Ah! For a trip out of Bikini Bottom to come and meet you. My name is SpongeBob and this is my associate, Patrick. Hi. It's your chance to get up close and personal with ah! the spongiest Nicktoon around. You are hilarious. If you're ready to meet SpongeBob in person, come to Stockland, Borkham Hills, corner of Olive Street and Windsor Road, Borkham Hills in New South Wales, on Saturday the 17th of November. Meet and greet with SpongeBob from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. This is gonna be the coolest party ever. Until then, keep your eyes peeled because SpongeBob could be visiting your town next. Ain't he the funniest little sponge you ever saw? Let out by the channel that brings the Nicktoons to you, Nickelodeon. They're gonna be talking about this one for a long, long time. Neo Pup is the friend you love and take care of. See in his eyes a hundred different ways his feelings show. Hold Neo Pup, tell him, go ahead and say, I love you, Neo Pup. He talks back in his own Neo Pup way. Neopop walk and strut with his own Neopop moves. Neopop, the future of friendship. Each sold separately. Every girl has fun at BarbieGirls.com But you need your Barbie girl to unlock the whole world. Barbie Girl is my online key to unlock club beauty and to adopt a pet. Only Barbie Girl unlocks more of the me I wanna be. Design my room online. Cute Fox. Cute Puppy. Aquarium. Pink Panda. Only Barbie real MP3 player. Barbie Girl device each sold separately. Works with PC and Windows XP or above. Adult setup required. Ask parents permission before going online. You want to rock? It all starts right here. Power up and turn it up with the new Power Tour electric guitar. The easy to learn guitar with authentic rock sound you really can play. Follow the light up frets to practice and master 12 big rock songs. The more you play, the more rock star you can be. Yeah. Power Tour Electric Guitar. Rock starts here. Guitar and amp each sold separately. Adele, genie school graduate. He's a wish grantor. You wish like a man. Nose flute dancer. I, 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 I. Dramatic actor. Catch me. Expert camel cleaner. Remember, stand clear of either end. Ew. And a disaster waiting to happen. A scabby dog has fallen into the well. Jump on the magic carpet with Genie in the House. Mondays in Savo at 5 on Nickelodeon. You're back with the Camp Orange Camp Out. The weird and wonderful Slimy Hollow and the desperately unlucky Slimy family have been the inspiration for all our challenges, including the final Game Orange. Oh my God. Welcome to the arena of dreams, Obstacleopolis. A challenge so big it doesn't even fit on the sign. So campers, it has come to this. The last challenge in all of Slimy Hollow. The last chance to win a big badge. Here we are at the Arena of Dreams, Obstacleopolis. Woo! You all remember PT Slimy? Yeah. yeah. Well, he had one last big idea to get everyone back to Slimy Hollow, and that was to build the world's first inflatable 
theme park. But unfortunately, the curse of the slimies struck again and the theme park never opened. But we found some blueprints in the Dunny of Destiny and we've been able to rebuild it for you here today. So, are we ready to get stuck into the final challenge? Yeah! We would definitely like to win this challenge to probably secure our victory. I'm actually pretty nervous because it's the last challenge and we really need to win this. This challenge is all about dignity. Uh, yeah. And we're feeling so nervous right now, man. Three, two, one. Climbing inside a slimy hessian sack, one team member must guide the soccer ball around the cones and through the hoop. Oh, wrong way, Woodsy. Callie's the first into the pool of slime to find a snake. Jess has found one and he's out. Now they have to toss three golden eggs to their teammates without breaking them. Torsten's off. He's got to wash his hands and enter an obstacle Oh! Come on. Come on, Dutchie, go! Isabel's next. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Then Katie. Sucker Monkey's the last. Ah. Austin's throwing himself into it. Torsten powers on ahead. But he slips. Isabel's close on his heels. Torsten's up the ball and Izzy's at the bottom. And Oscar stacks it. Torsten's the first to reach the haystack. He's just got to find a key and pop his team balloon and he's won it. And Isabel's catching up. So are the others. Torsten still hasn't found his key and Izzy's just there. the Dunny of Destiny. There were four keys found in the haystack at Obstacleopolis, but only one will open the locked Dunny. One team is in for a slimy surprise. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, Kim, Izzy, right back. It's right back. Right back. Surprise. 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 Not only did you pick up the game Orange Badge, but you're also going to take home a Panasonic portable CD player system. Night is not over. Let's do the final gathering. Woo! Woo! Benito of the evening gatherings. Whoa. This is it. It's the last one. Because right now, we're here to find out who the ultimate campers of Camp Orange Slimy Hollow are. Whoa. There's one more page of the Slimy Hollow history book that we're going to write tonight, and that is who the ultimate camper will be. The captain's challenge was the closest game I have ever seen, with the dancing dodos taking it out by 11 microseconds. Oh, Here is your captain's challenge badge. Woo! Woo! Bill Pan Game Orange.